Okay, now, to the somber moment, that is going to be Azura's dream. Oh, do we have any fans of um, um, Silent Hill? Is anybody here a Silent Hill fan? I was thinking about this. I don't know if we had anybody actually say they like Silent Hill. Like, I myself have only played a little bit of the first one. And I think that the demo for Resident Evil or uh, Silent Hill 4, The Room. All right. And we're back. What is, what's our inventory looking like? Okay, it looks like we were going to do a run to level up our gold mirror. Our sword and sword and shield once each. And we got hitched with us. Let us commence. Also, I... Okay, thank you, ladies and tra. I'm trying to think. Oh, after this, I think we needed to check in on the library. I think the library was over here. It's supposed to be built someplace. I think right here. It was kind of hard to tell with the map. That or maybe they're going to change his house into the library. And then the library is going to be right next to the pool. So after you get done studying, you can for a nice relaxing swim. Or I guess you could do it the other way around, but then you you risk ruining the books. You could go for a swim and then go relax at the at the the library, but that feels like you're you're just asking to get the books all wet. And that's rude. Very rude. Incredibly rude. Equip. And then equips. And then we burn this. Doesn't matter which one we use first. Nice. And then we use this. Now we're not going to get a great run out of this, but... We should get an okay run. And we get our hitch tip out here. Since we don't have our itney anymore. What's your AI set to? Oh, attack directly. Okay. Yeah, we're just basically on a uh, on a Wampa Stompa, like, give me all your money, tower, and then we are out as soon as we can. Oh. Rust trap, no effects. I mean, luckily we're to the point now where we could probably make it a few floors by ourselves and be okay. Wait, wait. Okay, redeem 30 second ad read. Okay, do an ad of Olam Fruit safety precautions. Ah, okay. Olam Fruit safety precautions. Have you ever been anywhere with one of your friends and thought to yourself, man, my friend looks really hungry. I should force feed them some food. And then the only thing you realized was around was olum fruit, which you had been warned at least once not to feed to someone, but you never read the instructions that came on the package of olum fruit and sit figured, ah, what's the worst that could happen? And then bam, you shove that olum fruit right in your friend's mouth and you're like, isn't that delicious? And they're like, hmm, this is pretty, and they suddenly get enveloped in a green light as runes circle around them and suddenly they are disintegrated from existence? Hi, my name's Seltier, and I'm here to explain what you should have done in that situation. Remember, it's always important you read the instructions that come with your food, whether that's care instructions, or uh, refrigeration and storage instructions, or safety instructions, a la what to do in certain situations. Instructions are important, kids. If you understood your instructions, you would know you shouldn't feed Olam fruit to your precious, precious friend. Because Olam fruit, instead of feeding them or doing something nice like, you know, making them not hungry or, or taking them someplace for free and easily, in fact, deletes them from existence. So remember, kids, always read your instructions. 
especially on Olam Fruit, which will delete your friends from existence. It's important you remember that. And that's from the Safety Council here at Raven Hillbrook Inc. Always read the instructions, especially on Olam Fruit. Okay, Yuka, how, how was that? That felt like more than 30 seconds. You know, a, felt a, a good try, I think. I guess I went around the top. Oh Ohm fruit sends you to the back rooms? Uh, kinda, yeah, actually. That's a way of thinking about it, yeah. This is way before the back rooms existed, so. Good? Okay, fantastic. Oh, you're asleep. I didn't realize what was going on there. That's fine. Hitch tip can handle that. This way then. Oh, there's treasure in here. Okay, that's cool. Whoop, whoop. Okay, we just gotta be careful not to fall like I did, and then we can move on. Yep. <sighs> Rip into the goat. We gotta keep that for proof. Proof of sponsorship. It's a gauche. Oh, it's just Celtine. What are you doing? Don't you wish to? Uh, I feel lonelier when you're around. Mm -hmm. I accept your challenge. Fight. And he's done. Give you this herb. I'm my guard down. 23 wins and one loss. I'll be back. I mean, eventually, I guess he'll get so strong that no matter what we do, he'll win. But I feel like we can get a lot of victories in before that. Okay, there's a medicinal herb. So right now we're still looking for a way out. Either an Olam fruit that we can use on Hitch Tip because Hitch Tip has plot armor or a wind seed. Oh wait, did I pick up a wind seed or was that what a wind? No, we picked up a wind seed. I need a wind crystal. Um, And uh, we still need, oh, there's a pit of fruit, perfect. So that helps a lot. We're definitely going in the right direction now. Nice. Yeah, the shield is really working out on for us now. Oh, white sand. Boo. I don't think I really need white sand. I mean, I guess there's the, we were trying to level up what, sleep? But, I mean, that's right, Hitch Tip has recovery now. I guess we don't really need the medicinal herb anymore, since Hitch Tip has, um, recovery. And if we can feed him, oh no, the food only recovers HP, oh, come on. Poisoned, really? I don't think I have familiar, pull back familiars to you, wind. What does this do? Oh, it just changes the genus, okay. Nope, I don't have a deep poison, unfortunately. Okay, what about, uh... Um, we want to do food lore? What's the food lore, everybody? I know... I, myself, have had, uh... I had Wendy's. I had, um... A Son of Baconator combo with small fry and a small drink and Diet Dr. Pepper. No ice. Basically my go-to. Um, but what's everybody else having for, for their food? Nice. Wow, we are just a murdering squad now. Let's get out of here. Is OSR still around? Or are you having another uh, blueberry bagel with stuff? Cream cheese bagel does sound pretty good though. I like a, just a plain like bagel with cream cheese. It's actually quite nice. It should have fell asleep and he woke back up. And we got a fire crystal. I needed a wind crystal. We needed a wind crystal. Correct answer was wind crystal. Turns out Fire Crystal was not on the list. That's an X out. That's an X out. Level 
alive. Fantastic. A little extra damage. Dead. That's cool. Port Katsu. Nice. But that sounds good. I didn't see you hiding behind the wall. I could go for a good Port Katsu. My only problem is that that's ramen, technically, right? Like ramen style noodles with, with pork? The breaded pork? My only problem with ramen noodles is they never fill me up very much. Like, I have to eat so much of it, and I have to order, like, a... Like, I order... I'd have to order, like, a double noodle extra to fill up on ramen noodles. So it's just very expensive for me. Oh, it's breaded pork over rice. Okay, so it's not a... Okay. Interesting. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, we're high enough level now we can actually kill them with one hit. Okay, great. Okay. Um, still looking for an olum fruit or a... Uh, that wasn't there before, was it? I guess I just ran by it. It's served with a sauce. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. But yeah, we still need an olum fruit or a wind seed. Or a wind, wind uh, crystal. Please, humbly request. I mean, if it lets me, I have a weird thought now. If it lets me save between each floor, should I? Oh, another recovery ball. We don't really need that, but I guess it's not bad to have. I had character building for my food lore. What does that mean? Did you just like down a bunch of ghost pepper sauce? Like what, how do you, like how did you manage that? Wow, we were taking very little damage from things. Actually pretty fantastic. A very gross tasting tofu based product, but it was very cheap. Uh... I mean, unless you're starving, I don't think you should be eating something you actively don't like. That seems not okay, Ika. Like, I'm all for you saving money and stuff, but if you're eating things you actively don't like, that feels a little weird to me. I don't know how I feel about that one. Though. I think we determined the wood wands are useless. I mean, I guess unless they're cursed. I wouldn't, I would say unless you're starving to death, you shouldn't be eating things, or I guess if you're like broke, but I mean, that's one and one. If you're broke, you're not buying food and then you'd be starving to death, but. Oh, sure. Oh, no, just use it. It's kind of a waste, but it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. At least it's very nutritious. Well, that's good. I'm just saying you shouldn't be putting yourself at such a uh, unpleasant situation for no reason. You de you deserve happiness, Ika. I mean, if you're secretly into eating foods that you don't like and that's like a thing for you, then so be it. Not a problem. That's your choice. But generally speaking, I feel like you should be eating things you enjoy. How did that... Thank God that didn't land on my keyboard keyboard would have exploded. It's turning into uh, getting over it with, with spilly water here suddenly. What if I enjoy eating petrol? Well, that will kill you, so no, you can't do that, even if you, you enjoy it. You can't also eat things that are actively, like, going to kill you. I can't say don't eat things that are bad for you, because a lot of good food that isn't going to kill you is also kind of bad for you. But generally speaking, I would say, um, probably don't, don't drink or eat things that will kill you. Hey, silly, you can't eat that. You drink petrol. But yeah, uh, I would say please, please also actively stay away from limit fruit. 
It's at 59. Okay, that's fine. Here, have some lemon fruit. Your advice is duly noted? Okay. I mean, obviously I can't tell you what to do. I can only recommend things. I'm not your... your I'm not your caretaker. So you do as I guess you want, but... I heavily recommend against... Against drinking any kind of gasoline. Or most chemicals for, for that. I like to turn it into jelly. Okay, now you're just making napalm. That's a different thing. You're just making napalm if you're turning it into jelly. You shouldn't eat that either, but I'm pretty sure jelly um, petrol is actually napalm. So. Another limit fruit. I hope I hope Hitch Tip likes it. Iron Shield. Um, well, I don't need this. Oh, he didn't eat it. It's weird. It must have, like, not got there or something because of the angle? Yeah. Hello? Okay, this is a kind of a weird map. Wow, what a gigantic room for there to be literally nothing in it but a little bit of, of money. I was really expecting more in there, like two or three treasure items. Oh, that balloon's out! He got rocked and he hit the eject ejector seat. No luck for you, though, friendo. You, you had to stay in there and take the hit. Um, oh, well, there is something in this room, so it was a good thing for me to come here. What do we got? Oh, it's just money. I need an exit strategy, team. Like, where are the Olam fruit and the wind crystals? I really need a strategy, an exit strategy, like, right now. I wonder if there, what was, it? do we have one of the, the, no, I guess we don't have one of the, the, the balls that we can use to train people on, like, teleport home, huh? That would be a useful skill to have, that way you always have an exit strategy. Just, you know, teach Hitch Tib, like, teleport home or whatever. Brainwashing still didn't work. I don't know if it's worked a single time. Nope. Ooh, an egg. Maybe it's a new uh, itney. Um. Oh, this is a very small area. Okay. I guess that makes sense. We're on what, like level seven or eight or something? And Hitch Tip can't be brainwashed? Well, he's a well-trained Hitch Tip. That makes sense. So we got an egg, which is good. Yeah, he knows who's master is. I put that collar on him, he knows who to listen to. At worst case scenario, sometimes he gets lazy and just falls asleep, but that's a different problem. Okay, I'm really, we really need an exit strategy right now, people. I need this Olam fruit or I need a, uh, a wind crystal. Usually we get a wind crystal within the first four first four floors, and we are not there yet. Like we are we're on floor eight and we still don't have a wind crystal. I don't need that. Um, wow, it's crazy to think these things are obnoxious at best right now. Oh, we're on a chaos trap. Paralysis one. I think those are worth some money. Um, we'll use this. I'm gonna wait here until that wears off. Pick that up, hit this guy in the face. Dodge that attack and then hit this guy in the face. There we go. That's how you do it. Flappity Penguin! Welcome! Thank you for the raid. How's your stream going? As you can see, we're in the middle of some Azura's dream. Uh, last week we had a horrific uh, problem happen and we lost our. Oh, there's an Olam fruit. About time. Uh, we lost our um, first egg opened um, monster. Or uh, Itney. He was a Kraken type monster. Um, but uh, he, he, he. Apparently it turns out that if you feed this kind of fruit to one of your monsters, it um, kills them and teleports you home. 
I did not know that at the time. Because when we had had, um... When I had given them th this fruit to our friend here, he never died because it turns out he has plot armor. Interesting module. Yeah, this is a really interesting one from back on the PS1 era. It is definitely the precursor to a lot of uh, various phone modules, for sure. Ooh, familiar. Oh, we'll get rid of this wind. Oh, right. Zane would have been devastated. The pet tentacle monster got killed. Well, I mean... He likes he like tentacly plants, right? You could open one of these blooms and have a plant a plant monster friend. That's an option. I'm just happy we have at least one exit strategy right now. Uh, oh, a gold wind sword. Those aren't as good as as gold, but oh, just a straight up level increase. We should probably hang on to that. Oh, we can get rid of this though. That. It's gold wind. But yeah, Zane, what were you playing, friend? Oh, I think we already used one of these, but that's fine. Yep. Okay. Okay, looks like that's... Okay, we're good to leave. Bonk. Bonk. Okay. Okay, we have an extra strategy now, everybody. That's what's important. And, and Advanced Lamp, how you doing? Hopefully you're having a good day. Um, things are going pretty well here. We had did a little Elden Ring earlier, and now we're on to the, the main course that is uh, Azura's Dream. I'm excited for this weekend. Uh, we have Silent, the original Silent Hill. Should be working, I think. So. Oh, there's the wind crystal I needed. This, is this a wind crystal? Oh, it's another fire crystal. I'm actually kind of shocked. Um, the fire crystals are pretty nice, though. Um, hammer, gold, and iron. Oh, we'll get rid of this leather shield. We can get rid of this. Yeah, the, these are very good. Oh, he's actually doing two to us. Nice. Nice. There he goes. Oh, a tomb of fruit. Oh. Oh, Ica! Wait, is it Tumna's the, the the frog one, right? Yes, it is a frog one. Okay. Ica. Ica. No, hitch tip, I need you to move out of the way. Thank you. Okay. Oh. Sometimes getting frogified. Oh, he's running away. And hitch tip kills him, and he's dead. Oh, I leveled up off of it. Nice. Ah! Oh. Oh, magic. Okay. Monster loop? Don't really care about that. Okay. Yep, he f we got him frog fried. That dreamin' got turned into a frog, everybody. Got him. Nice. Oh, so nice. Absolutely amazing how much damage we're doing now. Oh, we got bogged! And reversaled. Okay, good. It's nice that it's just the directional buttons. It's not... Um, all buttons. If it was all buttons, that'd be really rough. I think Earthbound has an effect like that, though. Where you just... All buttons get reversed, not just directional buttons. I think, if I remember correctly. Earthbound's so good, though. Really? There's not a room out here? I was expecting... It just goes all the way down. Okay, let's just get out of here, team. We're just burning resources. But I still have not seen what Flappy Ping was playing. There's so many options and so little descriptions. Advanced Lamp, I assume you know. Ika, do you know? As the, as the other expert on uh, the Flappy Ping, when I assume you might know. I guess Flappity Penguin was very busy and had to run away very quickly. Take a little poison damage here. It sucks, but it's gonna happen. Oh, hi. What are you doing here? Got him? I thought this was a hard... This is a hard corner. How are you shooting me? There's no reason you should be able to shoot me there. That's a hard corner. 
hold on. Um, Itchtib, I need you to... Oh, wait, command? Yes. Um... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I gotta... I almost forgot. It almost got... It almost happened there. Take this off. Then we give the command. And then do a uh, direct heal. Perfect. Almost forgot. A series of modules I kind of find boring, to be honest. Oh, that's different. You're pretty into different things. What What is it? Is it like, I don't know, garage simulator and you just don't like simulators or what? Um, I wouldn't want, basically. And that was points. Well, just money is money, I guess. Oh, there's the wind crystal. Finally. Iron. Wait, what's he at? Oh, he's at 18. Okay, now's the perfect time to use this then. Great, and then we can grab this, and now we have two op exit options. Great. Really don't need the Olum fruit now, but that's fine. We can keep the Olum fruit for the time being. Um, I think this is. Speed wears off so fast. Yeah, let's go up. I mean, we've got a full inventory. We covered most of the rooms. We have a two. We have an extra strategy. Like, we're, I think we're good. Ooh, what is this one? And we have another wind crystal. Okay. Well, we have plenty of extras at home, and we'll be taking this one with us. We'll just use the Olum fruit to get out of here since Hitch Tip is uh, immune to it. Which is a nice trait to have. I wonder if they counted on people spending so much time with their starting monster, or if they really expected people to be opening them all the time. Wolf wand. I don't think the wands are really worth much, unfortunately, except for paralysis and money. Ow. I feel like we should be getting pretty close to start running into um, krakens and such. You don't need it, but you can have it just for the uh, the MP. That's a really nice touch. That just feeding them anything will give them an MP back. Just not like a ton of it. Oh, he's not dead. More than 44. Oh, increases attack power. Ah, eh, we'll just give it to Hitch Tim. It's not like it's going to waste if we go to give it to him. It's the only one we know we can't get rid of. The only one that won't get destroyed, so it's it's strong to um, invest in them. Okay. Aha, nice try. Oh, that's a better try. They're all RPG mod RPG maker modules where you answer questions and get responses in and out and an elevation out uh, wait. evaluation at the end. Oh, okay. So it's like a Kind of like a choose your own adventure thing, and then it just tells you what happens at the end. That's kind of interesting. I could see that being a, a chill thing to. Oh, those walls don't actually exist. I thought we had determined that those walls were real. You just can't push people off them. And they're only see through because that way you can see what's going on. This isn't the least comfortable hat I've ever worn, to be fair, though. Now that I'm thinking about it. I've had least com less comfortable hats. Ooh, a gold sword. That's an easy thou. Let's go. Um, oh, we have this iron shield. We can probably get rid of that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got frogified. Okay, we're out. There's not a lot of monsters roaming around on this level, apparently. Dead. I don't remember what 
what level we're on. More 12. get somewhere we're gonna have to move a little faster I think. because I didn't have the, the the pit of fruit to start with we're kind of burning through MP faster than normal okay now we're on to some Griffins deflection oh, we actually took the 14 there he got it he got sent to the next floor Wow or he got teleported away at least one or the other I think that's a teleport I think that's just a teleport Oh, it's about to get very busy in here suddenly. Okay, well. I'm kind of behind on my leveling curve. Which is, oh my god, he's still hitting me for nine? Oh my god. I mean, we're hitting him hard, but my god. Interesting, but taking some serious damage. Oh, 54! With the one shot, okay. Okay, Hitch Tip, good work. Dang. Hitch Tip ruined that, that freaking Griffin. Okay, these guys aren't too bad. There are a little bit higher level versions of them, but okay, we got some stuff here. Hopper Sword, no. Now these eggs are an easy 800 minimum. We'll get rid of this. Starting to fall a little behind our, our current floor on our leveling, but it's okay. Music's a little a little monotonous. It gets there. Copper. If it was a diamond, maybe we'd start thinking about it, but not a copper. Sleepy Kraken. Kraken. Oh my god, Hitch Tip just annihilates it. Gotta watch my health here. Okay, we got it. Okay. okay. Cool. Okay. That, that, that's probably fine. Oh, it's a horse! It's a horse, everybody! It's a horse! You know. That, at least that's what we were told they were called as a horse. Well, I couldn't tell you. That's just what they're called around here, as a horse. They're clearly not a horse, and they actually have an, their own special name, but apparently they're calling them horses. Why? Don't know. Nice. Yeah, Hitch Tip's power level is getting pretty outrageous. He's obliterating this stuff at this point. Diamond? Leather! Wah, wah. Horse false? Yeah. Actively false horse. I think the only thing we've determined to be a real animal that we have is a frogs right now. I think everything else we've run into has not been a real life creature, right? Oh, we're slow. God, why? Hi. Nine damage. You actually still hit pretty hard. At least me. Hitch tip completely ruins you. But... Now these horses are like the least threatening thing at this point. It's odd that they're up here. It feels like something that should have shown up earlier. Maybe switched it with uh, a kraken or a, a phoenix. Um, hall seeds. Okay, that's fine. Feels like a, oh, even with a crit, it only did one damage. Fourteen. We're still a few levels behind our floor, which is fine. Ooh, an Olam fruit. Grab the Olam fruit and send something back. Uh, send something to the shadow dimension. Something's going to the shadow realm, everybody. What's it going to turn out to be? Oh, it's going to be you. Whoop! Shadow dimension. 
Probably should have saved it for something more difficult, but... but we, I don't know if we're going to keep running into Krakens. All we've been running into really is is not horses and uh, the weird uh, bishops or whatever they're called. Okay, wait, I need... Okay, it looks like there's another room up here. Okay, we haven't found the exit yet. This has got to be it, I think. Yeah, here it is. Oh, and a sand. Nice. Okay. Useful sand? Another white sand? Really? I mean, I don't really need more white sand as of right now. Yeah, let's get out of here, team. I feel like I still haven't gotten many um, food lures, though. No one, no one's eating dinner yet, or lunch, or breakfast. Binding ball. Another wind crystal. Blinder. Or a... Oh, a gold sword. We might actually need that. Oh, Hitchup is taking some actual damage from this one. Nice. Okay. Um, ooh, dro drop the gulf wind, probably? Or the pillar. Oh, we get rid of the pillar ball. These things don't have a lot of effect. We'll take the gold instead. I'm, I'm happy to see that they didn't, like, completely, like... Leave us out in the out in the cold when it came to the wind crystals in the end. I was a little worried they were going to, but they didn't. I appreciate that. Okay, that actually worked out pretty well. How bad is Hitch Tip? Oh, he's fine. He's fine. Could White Sand another recovery ball at the ten? I guess I could teach it to somebody else. I mean, I have one on me to wit use the White Sand on. It's not a terrible idea. I mean, um, where is it? Uh, recovery ball? That way, we, I guess we can teach it to someone else. That levels up Hitch Tip's spell. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. That, that could be... I think we've talked about that. That's true. Since right now it's still level one. Since it's not an organic spell for him. Man, those things actually are fighting back pretty well. Compared to most of the... Another poison trap, really? Are we both poisoned? There was two poison traps in this one corner. Wow, they wanted to make sure no one was stealing their copper pile here. Oh, it's these guys. Nice. Hitch Tip can one-shot them now. Let's go. Oh, it's the little level ones. Oh, it's not. I thought that was a level one guy, but no. It's still the crossbow guys. I mean, they're fast enough to get a double attack, which is good for them. He stole medicinal herb. We're probably going to need that. Oh, we got one back. Never mind. We're fine. Everything's fine. We just found another one laying on the ground. Zero value. Oh, he's hitting for us for nine also. No, don't step up, dingus. I was fighting him at this angle for a reason. I was going to let him step into us so we can two-hit him and he'd be dead forever. Pit of fruit? Oh, it is a pit of fruit. Nice. Oh, yeah, he needs it. Okay. Perfect. What do we got? Diamond? 
A wood shield? Oh my god, why? Okay, you can one-shot it. It's fine. We don't need to give this to him, but he can have it. Oh. Oh, God. Wow, so he got his attack off before we got to use the elevator. That's kind of good to know, actually. Let's go. No, so, so wait, what was, what was everyone talking about with the guy wearing a boot running for office? Because that's a thing in England. That's not a thing here in the States. Is that, am I understanding that correctly? Okay, that guy's just wandering around. About to get smokes, and there's the smoke. Put him on the Barbie. We, we're gonna smoke him up. Get your Traeger grill out so we can smoke him. Oh, he's running for U.S. Prez. Oh, oh, okay. I thought that I thought I thought the way I swear I'm not an elk was talking that they were talking about it being Ow. Wow, 15 damage. Ika, you wanna get involved on or uh hit chip, you wanna get involved on this? But yeah, so like Do we know anything about them? Besides that they wear a boot on their head? And have they explained why they wear a boot on their head? We're at a disadvantage here because you're lower than them. Thank you. Okay. Um, what is this? Oh, even types of eggs. Cool. On which item? Let's find... Uh, we have a gray egg or we have a... Ocher. What's an Ocher? The monster raving lo loony party? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Their presidential premise is guaranteed ponies for everyone. Interesting. It's a Grotta egg. Okay. A Gradu egg. A Gruda egg? A Gruda egg? Yeah. A Gruda egg. Oh, one of these is fake. Okay, this one is fake. We saw right through there's his clever runes. Luckily, the clones do not have much. Mm. Now we're at a kind of a thing. Let's hitch to that. No, he's fine. Yeah, I don't know anything about the monster raving loony party. I don't know anything about it. Oh, we have this wood one, though. We can have that. Just get rid of that. And we have a lavender egg, everybody. A friendly, traditional lavender egg. We missed! Hitch tip, you can't afford to miss. Posted him in the Discord. Okay, cool. They are a legitimate party? Well, I mean, so is the, 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 the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monsters a legitimate church. That doesn't make it odd. Not odd, you know? Oh, we got a Chaos Trap, everyone. Okay, Confusion wore off. On us, it's not that big a deal. On Hitch tip is when it turns into a bigger deal. So those spiders hit hard, but they don't have have quite the defense or HP. He got frogified. Oh, the the shield missed. Get him while he's frogified. Yes. Okay, we gotta get out of here now. He's trying to press our luck. He stole the medicinal herb again. Wait, you're not, are you, you're not the same one, are you? He was the same one. What an idiot. He teleported away right to us. What a moron. All right. Let's go. Who promises to resign immediately if they are voted in? Wow. So then it would just fall to whoever their second, like their running mate was? Or how does that work, work for uh, uh, British Parliament? 
Oh, it's this psychopath. I remember this guy being actually super brutal. Oh, no, he's dead. Okay, well, we're okay. Give him their old Roam herb. How is he looking? Okay, we're okay. We're okay right now. HP's good. He's got plenty of MP still. We got the high ground. Not no damage. Level up. Level 18. It's probably about level 20 right now. Um, actually, let's just go. Let's just go. Yeah, that frog frogification really helped there, actually. Now, if that was a, a ball we could train somebody with... But that might be too powerful. The unicorn, a.k.a. the witch duck. Oh, a limit fruit. We're gonna go past our limit. Plus ultra. They promised to contribute to the National Heritage Fund by selling castles back to, f to the French one brick at a time. <coughs> oh, okay. That sounds interesting. But aren't the... Wouldn't the castles be, like, really important tourist attractions? So wouldn't you be losing out on that tourist money? Or are they national heritage sites so tourists can't go there? In my mind... Okay. Well, that's why we held on to this, because it was bound to happen. It was bound to happen, so that's why I held on to it, everybody. That's the circumstance I was no I knew was gonna eventually happen and used it appropriately. Oh. The unicorn has re arisen. It's not dead though. Just badly badly wounded. Trust me, nobody cares about Really? No one cares about castles? Or are they like so dilapidated they're not even interesting to look at anymore? Is that the problem? Another white sand. Really? Okay. What was the thing? Oh, star glass. Um, yeah. Just use this. Cool. Um, okay, we're up there. Okay, the exit and the treasure is down there. Actually, let's go this way. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about these guys. These weird, like, football player lizards. I forgot about those. No, Hitch Jib. The point of this was to not fight him in the narrow corridor where we're all... Okay, that's, that's what I thought. Um... Oh, he's, I think he's gonna die. Wait, 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 wait. Can I order him to... Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. There we go. Castles are cool. Alan... Alan Lazard? No, 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 no. Alan Lazard? No, why are you talking about Alan Lazard? The guy who claimed to work at Area 51? No, 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 no. Wait, what is he at? Okay. Yeah, we can use the recovery herb now. Are we allowed to post links here? No, not here. Bob Lazar? Yeah, okay, Bob Lazar is the guy from Area 51. Who is Alan Lazard then? And also, what does that got to do with castles? And I swear I'm not an elk. Just post it over in the Discord. Oh. Chanted LeBlind. Weren't affected. Not effective. Oh, he hit me for 10. I didn't expect to be hit by that much. Alan Lazard is a lizard that plays football. Oh, I've never heard of this person. That's interesting. 
like the very own non-controversial manifesto somewhere. I'd like to like a very non-convert. I assume link. I'd like to link a very non-controversial manifesto somewhere on it. Okay, cool. Ooh, a restore scroll. That might actually be important here in a second. I don't know if that restores like our status or if that restores like Hitch Tibbs, um MP and such. Okay, we're on floor 21 and we are absolutely surrounded by monsters. Okay, it's fine. Probably fine. He's dead. He's almost dead. Okay. Yes, Link. Okay, cool. Thank you! Now, wherever you want to post it over there is fine. Thank you. I don't like being poisoned, though. Don't care for that, man. Wow, that is some strong poison, too. Holy cow. Alright. No, it's this guy. Hi, welcome. I'm actually badly burned suddenly. Nope. Hitch tip, I'm gonna need you to tank this one. Oh, the miss! The critical miss! I don't like how much those look like uh, xenomorphs, though. That didn't kill you? Well, you're like a double tough. Wow. God, they hit for 24. Wow. Okay, a blue sand. Nice. Use the blue sand. We need the blue sand. Oh, a monster loop, actually. I'll just use that right now. You know what I should check while I'm at work tomorrow? Use the exit loop? No, I don't think we need the exit loop on this stage. Thank you very much, though. Okay, he's okay. He's only about half health, which I don't care for, but... There's not a lot I can do about it. As I can't use the recovery orb on myself. Oh, yeah, what does this do? Uh... Oh, the beam res... 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 Resuscitates? A fainted familiar. Oh, that could be really useful. We'll use the trap one on the next stage. I highly recommend having a look at their manifesto. Oh, definitely. Especially if it's non-offensive, then yeah, that'd be really interesting. But I'll... Oh, okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we talked about that. Oh, what is this guy? Block? And he's dead. And we killed we killed Elized him really fast, really fast. Okay, we're on floor 22 now, which I think is a tie for the most floors we've ever been through. I think 22 is the furthest we've ever gotten. So if we can, if I just, if I just bail, um, what? Oh, okay, he's wait, is he down the floor? Oh, he is on the floor. Okay. Oh, nice. The height advantage really gave us a bonus there. Wow, and I got 300 XP from that guy. Okay. Wait it out. Gold. Okay. Okay, so one of these is probably a mimic. Uh, oh, perfect. Oh, so good. Covered. No, these are all actual money. Oh my god. Uh... Oh my god, 36! That's insane. Oh god. Okay. Wow, those football lizards, though. Holy cow. Now that I've actually killed one with melee, though, um. Um. We should should have it in the book now. Same with the block. Wow, we are barely outpacing that thing for damage. Um, 
That's what I was worried about right there. The problem is, is we go too far, and then Cheryl's gonna get sick. And we're gonna have to come this far again before Cheryl will stop being sick. Which is risky. Okay, what do we got here? A Hazaker. Okay, that's fine. Okay, redeemed. Ban an in, in module action recovery. So we can't heal, is what you're saying. All right, for five minutes, it's 4.58. She'll be fine, it's just a little bit of character building. So it's 4.58, so that would make it, what, 5.03? No healing till 5.03, all right. And I'm not a coward, I'm not just gonna hide in the corner for five minutes. We're gonna try to do this. Yes, okay. No healing, no healing for five minutes. Which is incredibly, incredibly dangerous, but all right. That's gonna be a hard one to pull off. All right. I'm leaving some stuff behind, I'm sure, but let's just keep moving. I regret nothing. Well, yeah, of course you don't regret anything. You're not the one having to deal with it. When you light somebody else's house on fire, it's not because you wanna deal with their house being on fire, it's so they have to deal with their house being on fire. My eyes were not affected. Unaffected by the, the laser beam. The blinding beam was not effective. Okay, so we're now on floor 23, which is a new, a new, uh, oh God, really? A new uh, record for us. I mean, I guess if we make it all the way to 25. Okay, five damage isn't too bad. What's your specialty though? Okay, well he's dead. I don't know how I feel about those block things. I feel like they have a special move I don't know about yet that's really gonna like cremate me if I if I'm not careful. Hitch tip. Hitch tip? Oh hitch tip. Friendo. You absolutely petrified me there. You can't go wandering off like that. Careful with the way I handle this. Oh, okay, it's fine. We're okay. We're okay. Okay, we got three minutes left before we can start healing. Okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'll burn your house to the ground, but politely, yeah. Exactly. That sounds like the proper British way to doing it, right? Look, I'll invade your country and steal all of your your spices politely because I got you to sign a contract you didn't understand though I can't blame that all on the, uh, the the British lots of countries did that sort of nonsense um let's find out what's inside the gray egg it's a Mananova egg okay not anything new unfortunately but okay okay fine uh, a decurse scroll Gold. Okay. How bad is he? Okay, we're about. He's at about half health. No, no, no. Historically, we're scum. Ah, uh, I mean, yeah, it's not great. Not, not great. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Make life take lemons back. <laughs> Shove the lemons in life's mouth. Make them taste. Make life taste the bitterness. Oh, come on, Hitch Tip. Now is a terrible time to get poisoned. Um, okay, that's fine. That's not healing, by the way. That's not healing. I'm feeding him a seed for the MP, not for HP. Is he taking double damage? Why is he taking double damage? Okay, he recovered. Uh, Hitch Tip, we're going to be leaving now. <gasps> Hitch Tip. No, wait, 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 wait. This is not a totally lost cause. Not a totally lost cause. We can take the elevator and I have the scroll to bring Hitch Tip back. 
to be fair, historically we were both scum, but but the UK has had more time to establish a some summish reputation, scumish reputation. Yeah, the US is still pretty young. Oh, I didn't want that. Yeah, the US is still pretty young. Okay, floor 24. This is the furthest we've ever made it. Um, beam resident, offended familiar, yes. And it's 5.03, so we're actually able to do this. Uh, use. On which item? Oh, on hitch tip, please. Yes. I should go to bed? Well, go to bed then. Wait, what? Wait, what did it just say? What? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, thank God. I thought it told me I couldn't do it. It just put him back in my inventory. Thank God. Oh, there was apparently a monster right here I couldn't see. And there's another one behind me also. Great. Oh, thank God he didn't come up with like one hit point. Okay, what did he come at? Oh, he's very badly burned. Just the same though. Oh my goodness. Brushing my teeth and transferring to bedroom, which means more of a delay. That's fine. You and the uh, SO can lay in bed and, you know, I guess take in the weird noises that are made from my uh, nonsense. Okay, this recovery ball is definitely not going to be used to uh, teach Hitch Tip level 2 of recovery, but that's okay. We're gonna have pretty good money run, though. Oh, he did the thing. But we reflected it back. Oh, he tries to paralyze you. Oh, interesting. Oh, he hits me much harder than I hit him, though. Hitch him more resistant. And we level up to 22. This might actually be the highest level I've been, also. I'm pretty badly wounded, though. Let the lizard guy go that direction. We'll go this direction. Oh, what's this? A Hazak herb. Okay, thank God. Wake up herb. I mean, if, itch, if Hitch Tip passes out, we're just bailing, so. What's this? A sand? A blue sand. Nice. nice. So heavily critiques your element ring strats. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm playing it incredibly subpar. I know that. Trust me. Um, I'm just going to use this on me. Perfect. Yeah, I'm playing it very subpar. Oh, Lord. Um, I have one of these. Uh, just use it. That's not what I expected to happen there, but that's fine. He's just body slamming them. He's not... He's not fireballing them like I thought he would. Team subpar for the win! <laughs> Mahal seed. Wait, can I not pick this up? I must have picked something else up with my mistake. Guess we'll let... Oh, this is new! What? I don't know what you are. You don't do much damage to Hitch Tip, though, which is nice. Um, we need to get this kill quickly. So Hitch Tip will focus fire on the thing that actually matters, which is this lizard guy. There. There we go. That worked out. Hitch Tip is badly injured again, but that's okay. The lizard guys are getting tougher as we go. Which makes sense. They do level up. We found the next floor. Okay, how bad are we messed up? Hitch Tip's got plenty of MP, but not a lot of recovery. Okay. Because he can recover me and I can recover him, like Pokemon, but. Um, so if we make it to level 25, we can actually fight the, the demon that stole the medallion. And then we can take that back, potentially. Um. Oh my god, is he... He became paralyzed. 
Oh, he's still attacking him, though. That's fine. Hitchip can tank while he's paralyzed. I cannot tank as well by myself. Okay, we got him, though. We got him. Oh, my God. All right. Wait, what's Hitchip at? Oh, he's badly injured again. Okay, Hitchip, I need you... I need to know your precise location and relevance to me so when I cast this, it doesn't get wasted. I mean, I guess if nothing else, you can't claim that... Oh, it's another one of these guys. Uh, are you invisible? <gasps> He's invisible! He moved? Treasure loop. Let's use this. He's invisible. He didn't teleport away because we hit him after he turned. Okay, so there's a bunch of treasure over there. And we know where the exit's at. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, we got him. We defeated an unknown thing, but we defeated it. Oh, he's going to paralyze him. Oh, God. Okay, we defeated him, though. And I level up. You killed him, Seltier. You get XP for it. What? I don't know what I killed, but I got, I, we got XP. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is the thing that stole the medallion. No, I need you. I need you to not get away. Get ship, kill this thing quickly. We gotta chase down the, the the white monster thing. He's back. Oh, get him. Yes. Okay. Oh, he's attacking an invisible enemy there. That must have been the one that got away earlier. This is so weird. Um. Oh, we have a trap loop. Let's use the trap loop so we don't get. Use the trap scroll, but nothing happened. How does that work? When you were freaking out about still being in the room, you killed him. Yes. How did I just... So, does that mean there's... The trap scroll failed? That's an option? Maybe it only starts affecting the room you're in at this higher level like this? Okay, great. Hitch tip is slowed. Don't care for that much. Trap scroll not... Oh, scroll not a loop. Oh, you're right. Not a loop. Okay, he's dead. You're right. I missed... You're right. I was thinking of a loop, not a, not a scroll. You're right. That's why I was confused. Yes, yeah, so let's take the elevator and get out of here. I'm so tempted at this point just to, like, bail and go turn in that water medallion so we can start going to the pool again. But this is easily the furthest we've made it. Floor 26. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, Lord, you hit him harder than you hit me? How does that even work? Uh, no? No, I think we need to bail. Um. Um. Where is the... And we just give that to him. You what? <laughs> what do you mean you returned it? Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Okay. Okay. Of course. Of course that's what happened. Okay, well, here we are, everybody. So now we know that if we get to level, uh, what is this, 26, that things are going to be really bad for us. And somehow we're still getting copper pickups. Just wind crystal? I mean, I want to see what else we actually run into first.
cannot believe Hitchtip rejected the Olam fruit. What a weird thing that is. Ooh, see a sand. Oh, it's a white sand, though. We are flirting with disaster right now, everybody. Uh, yeah. Nope, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not gonna risk it. We finally got someplace. We're just gonna use the wind crystal and get out of here. I think you have to throw it at Hitch Tim? Not give? Oh, okay. That's weird, but alright. But hey, we got level 25. We got that side quest done. We got a bunch of stuff we can sell. Oh, hi, Selty. I'm selling some items, Mom. Which ones are you selling? Um, The base gold sword, the paralysis. A paralysis is only 100? What a waste. Um, We can sell that. The gulf wind. The recovery orb was out of recovery, so that was good. Um, Fire Nova. The gold. The gold. Ooh, we got a picket. I think that's a new thing we haven't had before. Uh, Hazak. We had a steel sword? That seems weird. We could sell the water medallion? What? A water cleansing medallion stolen from the pool. Why would we sell that of all things? Oh my god, that would be hysterical. Increase the level. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, we have one... Two, three. Okay, we got all of our eggs. We got our gold sword. And where is... And then there's our mirror shield, so we're good there. We're going to increase the level. We're going to keep that. Okay, I think we're good. And we can keep the white sand. Yeah, okay, we're good, Ma. Yes. 9,000, nice. Not bad, not bad. Be tired, get some sleep. So yeah, we got a new egg. I don't think we have a picket. I'm not even sure what a picket is. I think that might be the green thing that steals from us. Oh, it's Nico. Get up, who's keeping you in bed? What's keeping you in bed so long? That's not good, your sleepy head. Good morning, Selty. You look, you, look you look cool as always, here to wake you up. I know. You and the three other ladies. All right. Oh wait, let's go check on the, the picket first. Okay, I don't think it's gonna be in these first rows. Egg of the, okay, that's the one that Selfie gave us. Egg of a Cyclone. Egg of a Balloon. Egg of a Bloom. Not a Balloon, a Bloom. That would be the Flappity Penguin one. Nova. Egg of a Nile. That's the horse. Egg of the Grarda. We have another one of those, so we're, we can sell ours for sure. Egg of a troll. We have a troll weapon, so we're good there. Egg of a volcano. And last but not least, we have of a dreamin'. Do nothing. Cool. All right, so we can put the picket in here. We have a Garda and a Manova. That's not what I wanted. That was the opposite direction, but that's fine. Um, okay, so we can go sell these other two. We can keep the Mazar and the white sand. I think I have a recovery ball in the safe. So if we can get that up to level 10, maybe we can do a, a recovery ball thing. Hi, are you going on your way out? No, I'm not going yet. Well, then you can watch... Or always and you imagine yourself. Yeah, I'm not gonna worship your feet. Sorry. Come on, Selfie. All these girlfriends, I have to keep my closer eye on you. Um, kind of flavor. And that that favor is open the safe, Mom. I am gonna transfer items. That's why I asked you to do it. Need this and that. Um. Okay. okay. We we have sleep. We can we can max out a sleep and teach him sleep. We have plenty of medicinal herbs in here. A couple extra pitta fruits. Plenty of wind. 
white, white, and white. Okay, we don't have another... I must have sold the other recovery. But we have plenty of, of white sand in here for that. Oh yeah, we got three levels here and I think two defense buffs. So we could level some stuff up pretty quick if we really want to. There's our troll weapon. Our money and our scarlet wand. So yeah, we could max out sleep. Teach him sleep or save it for somebody else. We still have the music box and the duck. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it for now. Is that so? It is so. I'm gonna quick save. Oh, Silty, are you leaving now? I am leaving now. Here, Silty, be careful. Kiss, kiss. No, I wanna kiss him too. Yeah, me too. It makes my neck hot hurt so much. Stay long. Okay, I'm leaving. Take care, good luck. I still feel bad for her neck. Can we talk to the doctor and get her neck fixed? Is that an option? Okay, general store is basically useless. Spoiling you, playing you on the TV tonight instead of my Chromebook through earphones. Wow, I'm front and center and I'm walking back out the door I just came in because I'm obviously a professional. All right, monster shop guy who never has monsters to sell but will buy all of them I can. I've come to sell. What kind of monster is this? Isn't it an egg? It's a mana nova. And uh wow the wow the Guardia is worth 2400 My god. Okay. There you go. It's a quick 32 $3,200. Can't be upset about that. Receive 32G. Just looking around. Again. All you jerks who buy my the monsters bought here, I'm supplying you with all of his monsters. You guys don't do anything around here. We got a monster hut full of monster hunters who don't do anything. Okay, so, okay, let's go to the pool. I'm surprised we honestly made it that far. But... Okay, where is the pool? All right, now I'm gonna warn everybody, there is a non, there is a, a non-zero chance we're about to get a crazy thing of like women in bikinis. So if that offends you, please uh, maybe, Maybe cover the screen so you can't see the screen and can just hear my voice. Be thankful, you jerk, that I got this for you. Th this is the, it's the water metal? It is, yes, 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 yes. Thank you, my friend. And now we can have fresh water again instead of this crazy green water. Now, this year is going to be another exciting wookie wookie year for m my, <laughs> Mansuyuba. Mansubaya. Mansu Mansabaya. Mansabaya. Another Wookie Wookie year. They had to have known that that was something, right? Wookie Wookie? Zelty, you are free to come and go as you wish. Bring a girlfriend. Bring your whole family. You can come alone. I don't care. It's the least I can do. Okay, you, you could. Could you step outside? I've got to prepare to reopen. Reopen this place. Okay. These offend me unless they are presented to the mystical stylings of the Sugar Hill Gang. Bye for now. I can't wait to get this going again. To get things going again. Yeah. Yeah, Yahoo! Wookie Wookie, yes! Uh, these offend me unless they are presented to the mystical stylings of the Sugar Hill Gang. I mean... Okay, interesting. Is it like... Thong the thong thong thong? Is that what we're talking about here? All right, everybody ready? Let's see what, is, is it gonna be open or do I have to actually wait a trip through the through the tower? Hey, Selty, thanks for coming. Did you come to swim in the pool? Please have a whale of a time. Well, I've got to go. The task of managing this pool is calling me. Farewell, off to work, 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 wookie, wookie. Excuse me? I don't know, I don't, I don't know the Sugar Hill Gang. The Sugar, Hill, the Sugar Hill Gang has class? Oh, all right. Okay, so what? Um, men for blue? Or did I just go into the women's changing room? Oh, okay, that was the men's changing room. I love I still have my, my little, like, backpack thing on. 
Except the one song that literally says jump on it. Oh. Oh, okay. So, yeah, here's some women in bikinis. It's a beautiful pool. Okay, that's true. You know them if you heard them, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure I would. I'm not allowed to sprint in here because it's a pool. So if I try to sprint, he just like points at his head. Like, no, 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 I know better. I'm too smart to sprint to run around a pool. Hey, hey, look at my swimsuit. Aren't I cute? You're adorable, kid. It's like an oasis in the desert, beautiful. Listen, listen, there's a sea monster in this pool. I'm not kidding. Wait, what? You might not be wrong. Pools are great, it brings out the romance in a man. Excuse me, what? Uh, no, please don't. I heard you got the water medal back from Pickett. You're unbelievable. Okay, so Pickett was that green thing. Or the, uh, the, that, the Pickett egg we got is those green guys. Wada, the manager of the Wookie Wookie Pool, is always so energetic and lively. He always seems to be having fun. Just over there, a sea monster saw me swimming and suddenly screamed. What a rude sea monster. What? Is there actually like a sea monster here? Is Hitch Tip just like running around on his own being a... Let them if you heard them, I'm sure. Unless you are, are that south. No, I don't think I... I mean, I'm sure I've heard them. We, we, we actually have very good radio stations here. Wait, can I use this? So they keep up with the trends, and I'm sure I've heard Sugar Hill Gang. I've heard of the band. I just don't know the music off the top of my head. The kid thinks the old man is a sea monster, and the old man thinks the kid is a sea monster? That's really weird. I mean, I guess that's the case, but that's really strange. That is not how you swim? Um. <laughs> look. Look, they didn't count on the fact that, you know, it's a four... It's a... It's a four-foot deep pool, and our character's 311, all right? They didn't count on him uh, being shorter than the water. The city really need, needs a pool. I understand it was you that made it happen, Selty. Thank you. Okay, I still can't... Oh, there's... Oh, okay. How do you like my new bathing suit? Pretty sexy, don't you think? Oh, God, no. Okay, I still can't... I can't sprint. All right, so that's cool. We we did it, everybody. We got the pool going again. I honestly thought this was going to be like the Oh My poster, and it was going to be like a, something... Okay, that's the ladies' uh, changing room. Got anything else to say? Hey, Selfie, thanks for coming. Did you come to swim in the pool? Please have a whale time. Okay, call me. Okay. And I can't go in the grass. They don't want me getting grass in the pool. All right, so the pool works again. Um, I can't use the slide, which is based off of what looks to be an, a, a regular elephant, but fair. Maybe there's some kind of monster elephants we're not familiar with. Right? All right, well, let's go change and get out of here. That was interesting. I thought I, I was expecting something a little more gratuitous, but no, that was actually perfectly fine. Coming in. I guess unless maybe I can actually go and talk to the girlfriends and bring them along and then it does like something particularly uh, gratuitous, but. Okay, now we also need to go check on the library, which it looks like is this building. Is that a Pegasus unicorn? It looks like it has wings and a, and a horn. The seasoned sea monster was inside us all along. Oh God, don't say it like that. We've already had an issue with a tentacle monster. I love to read books. Books are magical. Just think, this is filled with knowledge, the world, and history. The library is filled with these. I get excited just looking at them. The, mo the most imaginative stories, amazing feats, and important events are all contained in the pages of these books resting quietly on these shelves. You're right, kid, sure. So I'm very grateful that you built this library for us. Thank you. Good, there's now a library. Looks, looks great. Perhaps I could start gathering knowledge here myself. What are you talking about? Brains don't fit your image. Don't dream of nonsense and get going on and get going to work. Wow. What a, what a, I assume wife? Nako. 
You built this library yourself, didn't you, Selty? Thanks. D Die keeps sending his money on ga spending his money on gambling so he can never afford books. But I've already always loved literature, especially romance novels. Thanks to this library, I can now get back to reading my favorite books. Once again, thanks a whole bunch. Okay, so she's got a name, so I'm assuming this is a new love interest. It was inside of Zane, that's for sure. Wow, Eka, that's that's a lot. Um, but wow, yeah, that lady is a, a bit much. Considering she might be a love interest for us and she seems to have a husband. Oh, hello. Random girl. I'm sorry. I just feel uncomfortable whenever a man approaches me like that. Oh, all right, sorry. He's finally done it. Pretty cool guy. You really <coughs> can't judge someone for their appearance. What? Excuse me, what? Welcome here. Did you just take a shot at me? Did you just take a shot? You just took a shot at me. This old man just called me like stupid looking. Unbelievable. I'll never, I've never understood affairs. Uh, I mean, I, yeah, it's a thing, right? I don't know. Oh, we can actually jump in the library. That seems wrong. But we, and we can run in the library. If he just has a gambling problem, picking up a hobby like reading would be good for him. That's true. That's true. It would be better than like, you know, gambling, but. Oh, we can actually read some books. Let's read some books. Arthur Yuki Katsu, The Rose and the Unicorn. The unicorn, the unicorn appeared from deep in the forest. Arthur Yuki, the mother and my memories. As a child, I am always in the arms of my mother. Interesting. How did I do that though? Wait, is like, is there a secret spot for it? Old people can be brutal. That's true. They absolutely can be. I neither, neither. Wait, read character building books. I neither forgive nor forget. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, you can only have the. You should probably, probably only be caught in the affair once, and then it's kind of over, right? Wait, how did I do that? It just kind of triggered when I ran by. Hello? Is that the only spot I can read books? All right, what's Nico up to? How the hell did you heard that you made this building, but what is it? What? Library? A library? So they have books and things here? They're very cultural, isn't it? You can borrow books here. Really? But your father never talked about it. You should have built something more cultural. What? What does my father talking about this have to do with anything? What? The other must must character build the youth to pass on their lessons. I, I guess. I'm very confused. So she doesn't think this is something of culture because our dad didn't mention it or her dad didn't mention it? She said dad didn't mention it. So her dad never mentioned this? So it's not something of culture. So her father isn't that weird translation. It might've been a weird translation. I don't know. That That's 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 odd to me. Welcome here. Okay, that's it. Okay, well he's done taking shots at us, I guess. All right, I guess now we just gotta figure out what we wanna do next. Oh, we gotta go check on uh, Cheryl. Oh wait, what is this? Oh, that's just the tavern. Oh, the tavern might be open again, hold on. We might be able to go in here and get some milk or some juice. Excuse me, wait, who is this? We have a new performer on the stage? Is that what I'm getting? It's Vivian. Okay. Well, what a cute looking hunter. You must be Selty. <laughs> no, I'm Mr. Selty. My name is Vivian Mursa. I came to the city recently and was hired as a dancer by Madame. Nice to meet you, Mr. Selty. Okay, well, she's pretty polite. Welcome, Mr. Selty. Welcome, Selty. Business is booming every day. I'm sure my man is smiling up in heaven about now. Wouldn't you agree? I think so too. Right? I remember him better than ever, and I don't feel sad anymore. I can't explain it, but just as you standing here, Selty, memories of him are so real. Well, I can't expect you to comprehend what I'm saying. I've been working nonstop today. I'm getting tired, and she passed out on the table. 
I think she's asleep. I'll do the rest. Let her get some sleep. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> OSR. Vivian, you say? No. I'll do the rest. Let her get some sleep. Yeah, I'm not going to wake her up. Uh, howdy. What? You're a monster tamer? Can't you come up with a better joke? If you're serious, you better be better off talking to those guys at the monster shop for information on the monsters. Give it a try. Okay, well, I don't... Okay, we're done. Wait, what? The bartender's normally quiet and quiet and friendly, but he's a really nice towards madam. I think they'd make a great couple. Are you trying to get me in involved in this? I'll do the rest, let her sleep. You're, Vivian, you're trying to play matchmaker with him, huh? Apparently, I've got to get involved in this, this couple's relationship issues. Okay, we've eaten all the food now. Right? I think we determined that. Oh, the restaurant's empty. Wait, what? Oh, wait, weren't they talking about someone taking a vacation? Like the cook was going on vacation or something? Hi, Selty. We're closed today. My father has gone on a trip to the city of Haraka to stock up on food. Are you hungry? I'll make you something. Will you please? Let's see, what should I make? Uh, I'll tell you what I like. Anything would be f anything would be fine, I don't care. I can't stand people who can't make up their minds. I'll tell you what I like then. We have curry, fried rice, and fried prawn. Um, curry, fried rice, ooh. some green curry. Ooh, let's go with the curry. Okay, curry it is. Just wait a moment. I'd eat some just plain green curry. Or I guess this price is probably like a rice curry, but... Most done, can you wait at the table? That's where I'm actively already at, so yes? Sorry to keep you waiting, here you go. Oh, yum, oh, this is delicious. Munch, munch. Tells you, do you eat like a gentleman? How does it taste? <laughs> it's not too good. Just... I already told her it was delicious. It's delicious. Is it? Great. Cooking is really the only thing I do well. It's not as if I've got any hobbies and I'm helping my father every day from morning to evening. How do you feel about that, Selty? Your father is a great person, Patty. Oh, my father? Yes, of course. He's ap appreciated and liked by the people of the city for his great tasting cooking. Oh, I see. So you're telling me that only knowing the art of cooking is still a very wonderful thing. Thank you, Selty. I wish I could be a chef liked by everyone, just like my father. All right. They kind of put some words in my mouth there, but that's fine. I wish I could be a chef liked by everyone, just like my father. Okay. Okay, maybe we made some progress there, it seems like. We gave her a lot of compliments and life advice, I think. So you didn't get a choice on calling her dad bad. Yeah, that was really weird. Am I seeing this? Am I seeing this? Is this what I think it is? Does this jerk have memorabilia? Is he selling swag with my face on it? In my town? And he's not giving me a cut? I'm likely to throw him in the dungeon with a hitch tip and see what happens. How about a t-shirt for a souvenir? It's a t-shirt with the face of the hero Celty on it. It will scare monsters away when you wear it. Oh my god, it's a it's really Celty. You're giving us good business. Cool, cool, he's so cool, the monster tamer. They say he's climbing up the monster tower without missing a beat. Hey, you look like the guy in this picture. It's shocking. You're giving us good business. Okay, well we got the stand where the guy's got the octopus balls. Theater we already did. Okay, I guess we gotta check on Cheryl. Make sure she's like dying, not dying, or dying, or not dying. I don't, I don't know. Okay, okay, she's still here, so she's okay. Thank you. You're always here to see me, and I'm happiest when I see you, Salty. Feel better when you're here. Phew, I think I'm getting tired. Okay, all right, see you later. Okay, so apparently we did not make it far enough to trigger her thing. Welcome, Mr. Selty. Time, if time permits, please make yourself at home. Yeah, nope. 
I don't know how that would even work. You don't even have a single chair for me to sit in. Okay. Doc, do you have anything special to tell me? Hospital. Hi, Zelda. What do you have to... What are we going to do? Something particular. About Cheryl. We only could get our hands on the healing herb. We could completely heal Cheryl. I really can't do more than I've already done. It's a shame. Okay, so yeah, I guess we did not make it far enough to trigger her next bit of her th her her story. Um, I guess the next question is, do we need? To, what do we need to do? Hmm. Oh, I've never noticed those weird sun rays in the in the corner before. Wait, what? Is that new? I've never noticed those sun rays like that before. Huh. Salty emote? I mean, that would be incredibly specific. That would be a bizarrely specific reference. I mean, I guess all the, like, Azura Dream fans would get it, but not far enough to trigger her character building. Yeah, no, no, she's still fine, everyone. Um... trying to think like what do we need to accomplish next I guess we could just make another run but oh we almost have a hundred thousand dollars for the for the casino yeah I guess if we do a, just another run hmm. we'll get the money for at least the casino and I think the only thing left after that is the monster hunt level four a monster hut level four. Um, oh, we can go take a bath. Let's go take a bath. I forgot we haven't done this bit. Hey, mom. Are to the tower already? Yeah, I'm off to the tower. Take this with you. A bit of fruit will receive. Thanks, mom. Remind oh yeah, actually we can. Let's check out and see what these new monsters we've come across are. And flame griffin troll. A wee dog? Oh, that's what this is. A kind of monster that has been protecting the monster tower since the days of antiquity. Why it protects the tower is unknown. It is skilled in taming other monsters and is said to be capable of pacifying even the most atrocious monsters at once. Some people say that it is a servant of the god of monsters. Interesting. Okay. Uh, what do we got? U-boats. Uh, Ar Arcanine. Viper? Okay, that's got to be an Atakapu. A monster shaped like a viper and human combined. It hides in the dense forest and attacks invaders. Its claws and things have poisons that paral paralyze nerves, and the power of the attack is weakened by it. This poison cannot be neutralized with the common antidote herb. It is favorite food is eggs, gulping them down no matter how big they may be. Oh, he's there to eat monster eggs. Interesting. What's a, a Takapu? It's often seen in a tidal pool on a beach or hanging along rocks in shallow waters. What differentiates it from an ordinary octopus is that its ink comes out as a ball rather than liquid as it tightly compresses the ink inside its body. It is edible. Oh, okay, so these are the things at the, at the, um, um, the arcade that you you hit you hit them you hit with a baseball bat. These are the little monsters that that shoot the the arcade balls. Okay, clown. Oh, the unicorns. Okay. This monster has been horizontal stripes all over its body. It spends its childhood in a nest built by its parents on a tall tree. Since its wings are too weak to fly, it is fed by the parents and lives exclusively like a bird chick, but it fights bravely against invaders. Okay. So it must evolve into something else then. If it starts out as a as a bird and then it eventually grows up, then the next one, like 37, must be its its grown up form. Block. Oh, it lives in mines. This monster is a kind of magical one with a body made of metal. Although its movements are slow and heavy, its body is extremely hard and resistant to conven conventional attacks. I actually kind of claim false. It is also very friendly to humans and. It is indispensable for tasks requiring 
physical strength such as construction work. Oh, okay. Soil claw. Oh, that's what these are, okay. This is a subfamily of the monster Stealth. Since it eats garbage in the soil and converts it into energy within its body, this monster is often used in vacuum machines. It's a vacuum? It's a vacuum cleaner monster. Since it is gentle, it does not get angry even if it it is hit in a hit, hit a mole game. Oh, these are also the things from the hit a mole. Okay, so that must mean that the stealth is the one from the tower. Yes. This monster is a hard shell and a powerful pair of scissors. It uses the scissors like a drill and moves by drilling holes in the ground. That's not how scissors work. Since it lives underground, its eyes have a atrophy. Its shell acts like the skin of a chameleon, which can protect itself with it, with it changing colors. I guess that's why it can turn invisible and call it a stealth. Pick it. I think we read... Yeah, we read about this before. Sorry, but I'd rather have a dust bag instead of a poop bag I have to take out of my vacuum. Yeah, exactly. Clown, unicorn. Okay, is that all of them? And then here's the two non... The non... Um, weird ones. Just the lazy frog and something else we don't know what it is yet. But apparently it's made up of all of them. Which is interesting. Pick it, cyclone. Okay, I don't... I think we've seen everything else here. Unicorn. Wee dog. Griffin. Troll. Fly. Bloom. And Kraken. Viper. Takapu. Oh, that also explains why the Viper hits so hard. It's water. Oh, and the spider is water, too. I did not realize that. I would have assumed it was plant. That explains why both of these hit Hitch Tips so hard. Dremen. Noise. Block. Unicorn. Clown. Hmm. Wee Dog. Wee Dog is still a weird name. Okay. How do I... Okay, there we go. What is it? Uh, nothing. I'm off. Here. That was... So, hmm. That's really interesting. So I guess if we bought Mom a vacuum cleaner, we'd be buying her one of those that just has a little housing unit with it? Or maybe it's just on a leash. I don't know. That's really weird. Um, I guess we can go buy a medicinal herb and just make her run for it. Um, at this point, I'm not sure what all this else there is to do besides the casino and uh, Cheryl. Like, getting the medicine for Cheryl. Whatever we need to do, I guess, for Patty. And then whichever one of the two women in the... Um, in the library are going to be the ones that we could also, I guess... Uh, um, seduce. Yes, I would like the medicine. Yes, I got it here. I know it's cheaper here because you're a bad doctor. You give me a discount. Thanks. All right, Hitch Tib. Let's, let's one more again and get into this tower, shall we? Oh, we never took a bath, though. I forgot about that. Mom, fire up the hot tub bath. Revit. Takayaki was better than the herbs or not. Oh, for healing purposes? Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know if we ever got a, a total on the healing. The bath is so relaxing. That is a gigantic bathtub. Oh my god. That thing's so ridiculous. It's basically the same size as the pool, I think. And that doesn't count our above ground, above house pool, by the way. We also have our pool that's up on top of the house. Um, alright. Yeah, I guess we just make a run for it. Now, I don't think we found out how much health the, the, the uh, Takiyaki does. We can only check to see if it could increase the max. Yeah, that's what we, we bought it and used it for, and it doesn't work that way. I think we determined the only way that that works is um, with items designed specifically to increase MP. Not with generic food items that just kind of do it. Inventory button. I was hitting the. 
I was hitting the Elden Ring equipment button, not the, uh, not the, uh, uh, Azura Dream equipment button. Oh no! Not the Twitch crash! God, why? Why must you do this to Ika? He has had so much character building already! No, get the money, dingus. Oh yeah, that's right. Wait, can I put Hitch Tip back? Return? I can't. Okay, cool. So we'll just save his MP for later. When we actually need him. Is that a sand floating over there? That was weird. I mean, we can handle all of this stuff by ourselves with e with ease at this point. Mm -hmm. I think someone mentioned that last week about the saving. Oh well, this is actually really bad. Okay. That we if we wait we save him that way he saves MP until later. He's gonna have the first three or four floors. Yeah, easily. Okay, that's the exit exit. Unless we get frogified, in which case we might be in a bad spot. Because technically we don't have an exit strategy yet. Level three. I guess us getting all the XP is nice. Ooh, a tuna fruit. We can turn someone else into a frog and teach them a lesson. Okay. I guess that wasn't a sand I saw. There was just some kind of red floating, floating thing in the background, so I'd assumed it was a... a um a level up sand, but I guess not. But also work well for power leveling a new monster. Oh, that's true. We just hold on to him until we get up to a higher floor and then we bring him out and let Hitch Tip and me just run around nuking stuff for like 100 XP. Oh, I don't want to save. I can't even do that with this. Oh, and we're still capable of taking on Ghosh one on one, so we should be okay there. It's just Celty. Feeling lonely? No, I feel lonelier. Uh -huh. I accept your challenge. Fight. And he's done. Oh, drop it. Oh, it would have been nice if he dropped the wind crystal there. But free healing. Ready to go. So yeah, I guess we're gonna have to get further than 26. I mean, I thought it was in the 20s, so maybe it's just 27. But I thought the medicinal herb thing was before the water medallion. So yeah, we're looking. Okay, so about four, what did you say? Three or four, yeah. So it seems like three or four, we should be okay. It's probably around, around once we start running into like, um. Griffins and Krakens around like eight, where we're probably gonna start really needing hitch to. But in the meantime, we can save some uh, MP. Oh my god, I wouldn't want all of ten dollar dues unless it's cursed. Holy bell. Oh, well. This is bad. Or this could happen. Okay. 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 Now this isn't the worst. We can actually kind of handle this. We have we have an extra medicinal herb. Half are sleeping though. Well they were sleeping. Leveled up. Okay. Luckily, they're all only doing one damage, so we're actually taking this okay. As long as I'm not surrounded, we're all right. Wow. Okay, we got out of that okay. Thank God. Luckily, these ones stayed asleep. Oh, you woke up. But you're dead anyway. 
Wow, they even had special music for that. Anti-chaos. That could actually be important since we're alone. Wow, we were leveling up quick considering we're only on 4-3. But then we did have that monster room, so I guess that's probably part of it, right? Without that monster room, we probably wouldn't have leveled quite so fast. I think we're good to leave. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There might be one more over here. Nope. Just a connecting. And we're already back to full health. Look at that. This really helps you with your levels, too. Yeah, it kind of works out in that way that I'm not under-leveled when we get higher as I'm skipping floors. So this is definitely the strategy, I think, going forward, is we just keep hitch tip in the bag until we hit, like, floor, um, you know, six or seven or something. Basically, once the, 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 um, not a phoenix, the, uh, why can't I remember what it's called now? The Krakens and the, uh, the tiger thing start showing up. Okay, Olam Fruit. We have an extra strategy now. That's good. Oh, the critical, though. The critical to obliterate all that stand before me. Okay. A pillar ball. I'm gonna let you just... I'm gonna let you just swagger on up here and let me hit you in the face with this. Ooh, and another wind crystal. Nice. Oh, that's a fire crystal. That could be useful. Manticores? No, not the manticores. Though they kind of look like manticores. Um, it's the ones with the the wings, not the ones that made up of three different animals. Um, I don't know why this word is. I we talked about it earlier. My brain, it, it, it's just left my brain. I want to say phoenix, but it's not a phoenix. I know it's not a phoenix. Okay, we're on floor five now. Okay, the balloons, I think, hit us for some actual damage. Griffins. I think that's a griffin. Yes, thank you. Perfect. A Roam herb. We found the, the exit already. Yeah, our biggest problem now is going to be dealing with whatever that giant titan guy was that was attacking us. That guy hit like a truck. Ooh, a recovery ball. That's actually going to be more useful than um, the light seed, I think. I wonder what happens if we eat a light seed. It probably just tells us we can't, right? Okay, we're good. Leather shield, we're good. Not worth much unless it's cursed. Yes, the griffins, though. A lava fruit. Don't really need the lava fruits. Not that not to clutter up the inventory anyway. If it's on the ground, we can feed it the hitch tip in the future. But... Okay, he was only doing one damage, so we're still good actually. I thought maybe we'd have to get hitch tip out here sooner or later, but no, no, we're okay so far. We got gold sword, copper, useless. Oh, pit of fruit. Okay, that's something we do need. Um. Oh, we can get rid of this. That's only worth ten dollars unless it's cursed. Um, okay. Oh, money. Free money. Free money just sitting on the floor. Makes me wonder where that comes from. Is that other people die and I'm just picking up the money like they left behind? After, like, the monsters eat their bodies? Or is it, like, a byproduct of the tower itself? Like, it's dropping all the, the copper and the gold and the silver and stuff as a weird byproduct of its magic? Because it's kind of weird that there's money just floating around in here anyway. Like, magic items also don't make a lot of sense. Like, unless we're just taking them off the corpses of other dead hunters. Oh, a balloon. I wonder what those are going to do. Um, lava fruits. Good. 
Okay, you still only do one damage. We're still okay, actually. That has a whole minute. Minting facility hidden beneath between the floors? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, wait, what is this? Is a life wand. Okay. Kind of useful, but not like the best. If we were doing a different kind of run, maybe that would be really useful. Our leveling up has slowed down a bit, though. Oh, another Olam fruit. We can send someone to the Shadow Dimension, I'll tell you that much. If something shows up for me to send to the shadow shadow realm. Oh, here we go. <laughs> and deleted. Even with the high ground there, he's only doing one damage. Wow. We have definitely made some progress. Oh, a red. Yes, just use it. Let's go. Cold floor. That's just that's just raw improvement. Can't be upset about that. You just can't. Oh, is that a wind crystal? It is. Okay, great. Take that back with us. Chases a monster out of a room. Don't eat it. The bells are still weird to me. Oh, hello. Were you here a second ago? Alright, um, that doesn't work. Yeah, I'm curious to see how far we can act, how many floors we can actually go up on our own without hitch tip. This is also a good test of that. Okay, floor seven. Oh, that's bad. It always seems to poison us for about a half of our health. Oh, that almost killed me. Like, flat out killed me. Wow, that was way more than half. Half would have been like 29. That took us to 18. Oh, wow. Even the, the U-boats are only hitting us for one now. That's actually kind of shocking. Those things used to, like... Vital sword? Um... Probably... Okay, that one's really useful for late. Take the... We'll get rid of the pillar. If for no other reason, I have no idea what it does. I think the vital sword is the one that stops them from... Uh, mimic or uh, reproducing like they they can't bud or whatever I think Chop and Chop sank a u-boat. Oh, that reminds me um, So there's a there's a, a module on sale on Steam right now called um, Silent hunter 3 it's a uh, uh, Submarine sim I'd be curious, did anybody find that interesting? Like me just... Ooh, money wands, I think, are worth a thousand. Um, we got some actually really good... Oh, no, I need to keep that. Oh, we can get rid of this. Just use it. But nothing happened. Perfect. But just, just do like a fun, not hot, like nothing, like medium difficulty at worst. And just run around and see what kind of random shenanigans we can get into with a, a submarine module. You know, just a free side thing, not like make it a, a Tuesday event. Or maybe even a Thursday event, considering it's actually tactical thinking. I remember I played one when I was a kid. Um, and I kept trying to take shots at boats and stuff. And they just seemed to always get out of the way. And I'm like, I don't understand. I have it, but I haven't played it yet. Oh, okay. I'm like, I don't understand. How do they keep dodging the, uh, the torpedoes? And then I, one of the things on the, on the, the disc was an interview with an actual submarine um, seaman, I guess. 
And they were interviewing him, and he's like, yeah, this is how we would do this, and this is how we would do that. And it's like, yeah, we would usually take shots at, a, like, 800 meters or whatever. And I'm like, oh, I've been taking shots at 2,300 meters. I guess that's the problem. I've been firing at them at, like, double the maximum range of a torpedo. Oh, wait. Barra... Barra... Trauma is a subsim with monsters. Oh, I think I've kind of seen some people play that. But isn't that an action-y thing where, like, the monsters board the sub and, and stuff? Ooh, a fireball actually could be useful. Ooh, repel magic. Okay, we're gonna have that. We're gonna... Oh, what? Repel ball was fired. Okay, I, I didn't need to do that. Half, half. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that before. And that's not... I, I'm, I'm wanting to do it as more of a... Um, I don't think I really have anything to identify right now. Um, let's identify... I don't know. Prevents opponents from multiplying. Yes, I was right. Oh, let's, let's see if this has anything. Money wand was money wand. Okay. But, you know, I, I wanted something a little a little slower. Like, I don't, I don't want something where I'm having to, like, do a bunch of uh, crazy feedback. Like, I want something slow or just, like, something casual to do. That's why I would play it on, like, easy or medium is so I could just, like, okay, we're going to go over here and then chit-chat a little bit. And it's like, oh, look, a boat. And then we blow the boat up and we keep moving. Maybe occasionally it gets a little wacky, but for the most part, it's not, it's not too bad. A casual sub-blowing up ships sort of thing, you know what I mean? That way, you know, Ica, if you're really feeling like in the mood to describe what's going to happen in your next chapter, I can just sail a boat calmly around, blowing up ships. Um, and you can describe in, in great detail what, what's going to happen in your next chapter. It'll be fun. Nothing too, you know, serious. Just a, a simple blowing stuff up with, uh, with a submarine. It'd be almost like if I was doing maybe like uh, like 18-wheeler sim. Would that be like something along those same lines where it's just like, I'm just going to casually drive down this road while Ica describes uh, this is the clowns can't be level hitched it. That's true. And we're able to handle them ourselves quite easily. So Character building. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, w would that be more interesting as like long-haul trucker sim and I'm... I'm driving the truck and Ika's here describing, you know, character, uh, uh, chapter stuff. Your character building ideas. Why well, just casually drive down a road? I swear I'm not an elk is, you know, telling me I'm a monster because I'm, you know, drinking tea wrong or pronouncing al aluminium the wrong way. Oh, we finally got another level. It's actually slowed down quite a bit. OSR is in here, you know, trying to plot, try to convince me to make a left turn when it says I should go right. Ladies entry pays me so I can't make left turns. And so I have to like figure out a way to make three rights in a row and then another right into the parking lot that would have been super easy to make a left into. Stuff like that. Oh, we got bonked. Okay. We're fine. We're, all, we're okay, everybody. Um, monster loop, sure. Use the monster loop. No. Oh, it actually works. Wow. I mean, we'll get the tent right back. Oh, it slowed us down was just a little bit. I don't. I just feel like I don't have a, a chill thing to play. Does that make sense? Like most of the if I play requires quite a bit of brain thought. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Actually, that will be better than... Because I have an anti-chaos. It'd be funny if the cure-all herb was the one they were talking about that I needed for Cheryl. I've had tons of them, but I just keep, like, using them or throwing them away or selling them. I think that would be actually very funny. Well, I wonder if I use that the, the tuna fruit on, um, I don't really have anything to get rid of. Oh, trap, trap, we can use the trap. But yeah, I wonder if I use the, um, 
the frog fruit on ooh, deep blue. on that big guy and then kill him as a frog if that will still give me the info in the book about him. I would be very curious to find out. That'd be a good test. If I can make it that far with the... Uh... Oh, I would just use the star fruit. We don't, or star glasses. I don't need another one. The only downside to this, though, is if I fall asleep, that could also be really bad for us. Alright, it looks like I got all the treasure, so we can just go back the way we came. Ow. Like, this has been a really good run. I'm kind of shocked we were able to get this far um, with just us. I think we're approaching, what, floor 10? This was 8, I think? Okay, come on. Mirror shield? Oh, really? Is our mirror shield just not working anymore, or what? It legitimately feels like our mirror shield is not mirroring anymore. Quite frustrating. We're supposed to have a, what a 70% chance to deflect spells. It feels less than that right now, currently. I do not need to quit. Thank you. Though. Okay, yeah, we're on floor ten. Ooh, a diamond shield. Nice. That's money. Wow, he only shoots us for one, too. Um, paralysis? Final money. Cure-all, wind, recovery. Hmm. Maybe we drop... Oh, wait. Was the paralysis the one that wasn't actually worth as much as I thought? Let's get rid of that. Ow! We got hit. We got bonked. Darn you, traps. You're bonkinating. Obliterated? What's this? Uh, treasure vulture. Oh, no, no. Just, uh, just use it, please. Scorch shield. I don't think that would be better than any of the stuff we're carrying. I know money is worth a thousand. The Blanc Trap is the first two damage thing. Yeah, actually, you're right. It is. That's the first thing to do more than one damage to us so far, which is actually hysterical to me. That's uh, that's a great note. Leather Shield. Yeah, there's another treasure this way. There's something this way. Eventually. Oh, where's the door? Oh, there we go. It was actually quite misleading. The trap we just ran over and had no effect. Ooh, this is a weird little area. Boom, boom. Now we're down, and we do the thing, and we jump. We got an exit loop. We already know where the exit's at, and we've got a blaze ball. Okay. Whale. Now we have to choose what to take instead of the... I guess blaze is probably better than fire, but I don't think it's got as many uses. Maybe we take that instead of the... The salamander's okay, but it's not the best. Let's do that. We'll take this instead of that. I'm happy we came all the way down here. That's actually a really good get. Ooh, free money. Free money. Floor money. Olum fruit. Well, if we can keep the olum fruit, then we can leave with, with the wind crystal and have an extra wind crystal. Which is good. I mean, we do have a lot of them, so I mean, you're not wrong. Wait, are there two exits? There's two exits. I'm gonna take the one up here. We've had this happen before, but I don't know if it, it, it changes where, where like one will go to a different place or not. John Phoenix, welcome, nice hat. Hey, I was paid a thousand solutions to wear this hat. They had to pay me to wear this hat, all right? This wasn't my personal choice. Oh, we got frog fruit. And... Oh, he's missing, though. Oh, seven. We're taking our first actual damage here. Oh, 
god. Ha ha! We're back. Okay, that could have been really bad. It's all the same place? What do you mean? Oh, the, the second elevator? Well, that's good to know. Deflect, please? Thank you. God. Our mirror shield has not been performing this run. Multiple elevators. Yeah, the multiple elevators all lead to the same place. Okay, that's cool. That's good to know. Okay, so we're on floor, like, 11 now. Now is probably the time to get Hitch Tip back out. Because now we can actually start getting... What? Wait! Wait, it sent him back? It didn't put him back in the bag. Mm, that's frustrating. That's really frustrating. Super frustrating. I thought it was putting him back in the bag, not sending him back to town. Well, at least it's been a good run otherwise. We still got a bunch of sands, and we've got to walk out of here with a lot of money. Even if, if you know, we have an Olam fruit we don't have anything to do with. Are you going to hit me for more than one? You are only really hitting me for one also. Wow. Anti-Chaos Orb. Ooh, a sand. Grab the money and then we'll get the sand. Ooh, blue sand. Nice. No hex this stream? Oh, no. We, we had one earlier. We were just trying out the strategy of not getting him out of the bag until later. So I put him back in thinking, oh, we'll try. Oh, we actually took five there. But I accidentally sent him back to town instead of putting him in the bag. So that's my fault, everybody. This also lets us kind of know how far we can get on our own without him. Just to see. After our horrific loss last week of uh, Itney, um, we're, we're trying to figure some stuff out. And now we're kind of limited on how far we can go. Um, since I guess I don't need this Olam fruit anymore since the only way out is the Wind Crystal. Thank God I found it. Someone's getting sent to the Shadow Realm. Of course, you're standing on top of it now, like a jerk. And of course, I missed when I needed it. But John Phoenix, how you doing? Okay, you're going to the Shadow Dimension. That is not the button I pressed. I was hitting the button for throw. Why are you not throwing? Why are you not listening to me suddenly, Salty? Can you use the Olm on an egg if you hatch it? Can you use the Olm on an egg if you hatch it? I mean, yes, but what would that accomplish? It would just kill the creature. That wouldn't do me any good at all. Too heavy to lift. Okay. There we go. Now you go to the Shadow Dimension. I, or do you mean like send it back to town? Because we've we found out that if you feed a, a monster an olum uh, olum fruit, it destroys the monster. Oh, you you can use can you use the olum on an egg if you hatch it? Do you get to collar the monster you hatch if you hatch an egg in a dungeon? Ow, bonk, monster loop. I don't know what happens if you hatch an egg in a dungeon. I've never or in the tower. I've never had that happen. Yes? Oh, okay, that's cool. Isn't there a sub negative effect though to that? Isn't he don't they come out weaker or something? He doesn't come home with you if hatched inside the tower. Oh, okay. Even if you collar him, he doesn't? Is that what it is? I knew there was a downside to doing that. I just can't remember what it was. What do we got? We got a Miraculous Scroll. We have a Water Crystal. Ooh, we're taking that Water Crystal with us. Those are really nice. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's the downside is you can't keep the monster with you. Oh. 
Yeah, so we could hatch the egg, um, hatch the egg, collar it, and then hit it with the olum fruit. That's true. Uh, let's get rid of this. Uh, oh, no, no, we have the monster one. Just, yeah, just use the monster one and we'll grab this instead. That's way more important. Those water crystals give us full HP and MP on our monsters, so that's actually way, way more important. Okay, the Griffins are doing five. That's not terrible. Born in the tower stays in the tower. That's a great that's a great way to describe that, yeah. Cardinal Dexus, welcome. Hey you, I'm watching Multiverse of Madness right now. If you're multi if you're watching Multiverse of Madness right now, what are you doing here? Aren't, shouldn't you be enjoying the movie and looking for every little little conceivable detail that could hint at what's coming next in the MCU? We're gonna go I'm gonna go see it with the girlfriend tomorrow. I believe it's still in theaters. But also welcome Cardinal Exodus. Oh, here we go. Now we're about to get get our get completely wrecked. Oh my God. So we take we take 5 damage from hitting that and it hits us for 7 on top of that. Um fire. Got him. But yeah, if you're watching a movie, Oh, the trap didn't work. Why are why are you here? Why you why you not watch your movie? Is it on is it on uh, Disney Plus or is it still in theaters only? I'm actually not sure. I mean, I'm just happy we're gonna make a good run of this and still manage to get out of here with a lot of money. Stream on. The fact we've made it this far with just us is actually very interesting. The flex? Nope, we ate that one. This shield is like run out of luck. And now uh, when they introduced the idea of a multiverse, I knew they were going to start pulling a lot for it. Yeah, I mean the multiverse, they have a lot of stuff to, to pull for. So it's not on Disney Plus, it's still in theaters is what you're saying? Oh, there's a horse. The horses actually aren't that worth bad of enemies, generally speaking. Oh, this is actually scarier than the horse. Oh, we have the high ground here, though. I have the high ground so I can take reduced damage from the one on the low ground. Wait, he still did two. I guess that other one was just like a lower level. The only thing right now as far as I'm aware. Okay. Deflect? This def the shield is just out of deflect power. I don't even know if that's a thing. Antidote herb. Anti-chaos herb. And a blizzard sword. Okay. I guess we're good to leave. That's basically all the rooms. All the rooms and all the treasure. Oh, a horse. Oh yeah, bro. I'm now in ninth place speedrunning this. Nice! You moved up. You were at what? 16th before? 16th or 13th? I know it was just just it was in the tent, the teens. Oh, well, that's probably bad. Okay. And What do we got? A Oh, it's another pit of fruit. Not useful. Yeah, up there. Okay. Well, look, congratulations. You, you broke the top 10. That's impressive. What was your strategy? Did you do something different or you just get really lucky or a whole bunch of things? What 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 changed? The Yidavator got us. Oh yeah. Grab the money. Thanks. Oh yeah, no problem. Gotta support one another. A wooden wand. Okay, what kind of fruit was this? Oh, it's another Tumna fruit. Nice. Something's about to get frogified. He just, he just increased Hitch Tip's max MP, though. Oh, oh, I get what you're saying. Yes, yes. I embarked my inner Ricky... <laughs> I embraced my inner Ricky Bobby. You're not first or last. Got it. I bet you feel stupid now, huh, frog? I, 
he dodged. <laughs> Alright, you're not wrong. Let's go, let's see. Um, where is it? I think these still hit me pretty hard. Seven? That's pretty hard. I don't like that their heads open like that. That's kind of weird to me. That seems not okay. Um, oh, we don't need this anymore since we don't have a familiar to get back to us. As Hitchchip left the town instead of getting back in the bag. Like a jerk. Good. Oh, he's hitting for six. Okay. Yeah, we're actually starting to take damage now. I'm gonna take the high ground. There we go. Okay, wait. Can we? We cannot. These are too high for us to recover. We gotta wait for things to reset. Okay. Wow. Some terrible luck on that one. Yeah, that high ground gave us just enough advantage to do it in two instead of three. But we leveled up, so that's good. XP is flowing pretty good now. Binding Ball. I think this gives Paralysis? Okay. Man, we'll just get out of here. Oh, God, I forgot I had a, helmet, a hat on. Medical Herb Pitta Fruits will increase the max stat if you use when already at full. Oh, so we can raise his HP, too. Oh, that's interesting. So we could go buy... So we could go buy a bunch of med medicinal herb and just, like, pump it in, like, take Hitch Tip in and just give him, like, four medicinal herbs and he would get four maximum HP off of it? That's kind of crazy. Well, increase by one each. Yeah. Huh. That's good to know. I mean, that means we could... Okay, so I have a weird question. It... So if we take like a level one monster and say I put four uh, medical herbs into it, medicinal herbs into it, and then we level it up, do those, like how does that affect the level up effect? Adds up after a while? Well, yeah, I would have to imagine it would, yeah. Is it worth it to do it when it's level one, or should you wait till you have it like level like 15 before you start trying to pump its HP up? Ooh, another, another egg. We're getting really weird on what we should and shouldn't take with us. Fire. Well, we have Restore status of familiar and recovery. Okay, that restores the status too. Yeah, let's let's have this and get rid of this cure all then. Take this with us. HP buff stat. It will get the base HP buff stat. Then added the extra on top of it. So if level two, 36 HP will be it will be 36 plus four. Okay, so it, it it actually carries over as you level. There's no weird loss or anything there. Oh, six. Yeah, we are definitely in actual fighting zone now. We are no longer just one-shotting everything, not taking any damage. Another level up. Yeah, okay, that's cool. So it's actually kind of worth it. Oh god, we got mimicked! But oh, we got the high ground! We're taking reduced damage! Trap loop? That's not bad. Use the trap loop. Cardinal X, you could do it any time, but would it would do it toward the beginning of the tower for the Pitta? Could farm the resources, do quick runs. Yeah, yeah. That could be really OP on the Kraken in theory. You could leave a Kraken with zero MP fainted on the floor, and if it had enough HP, it could still kill enemies from getting hit. Yeah, kinda. Though their electrical attack doesn't seem to be that powerful. But it is a possible, it's an option. Listen here, you stupid mimic. I don't need any of your nonsense. Yeah, hopefully we can get another one of these two eggs as a Kraken egg, and we can get another Kraken, and we can have 
Itney too. Itney harder for something. Okay, another mimic. There's another mimic. Your stop counter is resilient on MP being present. Oh, is it really? Good old crack and punching bag strats. Yeah. Okay. What do we got? Um, ice shield and a steel shield and silver coins. Um, I think we're good. I think that's all the rooms. I'm very curious to see how far this can go with with no help. Selty's got his gold sword and his, you know, uh, magic armor, or a magic uh, shield, so we'll see how far we can get. Oh, it stole a pit of fruit. I forgot about these guys. I'm gonna have to be careful and maybe fireball them from a distance. Otherwise, I'm gonna end up getting my, like... Oh, it stole another pit of fruit. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to just like fireball only these guys. I forgot how obnoxious these guys can be. Um, let's just hit him with a blaze ball. Oh my god, it annihilated him. Well, we got our pit of fruit back. Just use a Kraken with a block, and you get a brick that can hit back. Oh my god, that would be amazing. We're literally just walking around with an electrical blick, brick that people punch and it shocks them. That would be amazing. You ready to fight the white one that does nothing but run? We already have. We got the water medallion back already. Yeah, yeah. It stole, it stole our vital sword. Yep. Yeah, the white one was problematic, but we did manage to uh, take it out. Oh, it's the pit of fruit one. But yeah, we made it to floor 26 and managed to get uh, the water medallion. Somehow we didn't, we didn't start the Cheryl stuff. Which was a little weird. Really? This is what we're doing. Mm. I don't like this. I don't like this setup. Oh, you're running from me. Okay, I assume... Are you not running from me? What are you doing? Why are you being so weird? Oh, and exploded. Oh, there's my vital sword back. Nice. Oh, he's actually just attacking, which is, that's better. I prefer that, actually. Thank you. Two, two damage? Two damage, or you steal a random item from me? That's, that could be really bad. You Have you progressed the bar, library, or restaurant? Uh, the bar, yes. They hired the dancer. Uh, the library, I bought the library, and we've gone there once. And then the restaurant, Patty's father went to go buy supplies, and she cooked us food. So, yes, I think so. Trail stuff is a higher floor. I believe it's highest quest you can do. Oh, okay. I thought it was somewhere in the, the 20s. Oh my god. Okay, well. Well, let's see how much fireballs we have. And one more. Oh yeah, Cheryl's floor 28. Ah, okay. Boom. Uh, and it's copper. When you went to the restaurant, did you sit down and have the the rye prawns? No, I did not have the prawns. I had the curry. I did not have the fried prawns. I had curry. I think I remember you mentioning something about the fried prawns now, but... I mean, if, if we don't progress much with her, that's fine. It's not like, it's not like I need the wife. This isn't a wife simulator for me, you know. This is a holy bell. Poor Patty. Prawns is her specialty. Ah, okay. I was just thinking of which one sounded the best, and like fried prawns is not bad, but 
At the same time, some good curry, though. Mm. I like me some good curry. Poor Patty. Oh, are we gonna find out her sad backstory? Or you just mean that she works some, like, morning to night with her dad and never really gets to go do anything fun? This module is a waifu simulator? I mean, kind of, since you can get up to, what, seven of them or whatever, but... It's not why I'm playing. I'm playing it for the experience of being a monster tamer slash tower climber. Listen here, you little son of a... Listen here, you little ugly ham sandwich. Are we out of fireball? I guess we're out of fireball. You took my wind crystal? Are you kidding? Great. Now we're gonna die. Fantastic. Of course he takes that. That's the thing we needed. Great. Pick him up? I guess that's true. I guess we could pick him up. If we get that wind crystal back, I'm leaving. I don't know what to do with him. Alright. That wasn't the one. It doesn't ask for a food she got good at. Oh, poor Patty because she... Oh, okay. Thief! Yeah. What's this? We have a light seed. And we got a red sand. Okay. Well, we really need to get that wind crystal back. Faster than you should have. Okay, I don't like that. Oh, wait. Wait. Wait, I almost faced the wrong direction for that. Um, blaze it? Okay. I mean, I like that we're leveling up. I actually don't have an exit strategy right now. And that's kind of important. We kind of need an exit strategy. Ow, we got bombed. Okay, don't care about that. You find a pick, pick an egg and a, a new egg, you can break the module. Oh, really? I have both. I have a pick an egg and a manua egg. So I could do that, I guess. Can you, can you fuse them? a spider. Um, we'll just tank it. I didn't like tanking it, but we tanked it. Like, I need another exit strategy, which is f frustrating. No, oh, but you use them in a way to duplicate any item you want. Oh, wow. Okay, hopefully that'll limit to one hit. Yes. Okay. I thought I saw another monster over here. Kind of neat. Still another pit of fruit. I need my wind crystal back so I can leave. It's the copy machine formula. Interesting. So what do you, what does the Manua turn into a thing? Wait, 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 wait. Does the Manua turn into a thing and then 
you have the uh, picket steal it, but it becomes real. Oh, that's not the one I needed. I don't think Barang can break the module attack. Oh, okay, use Barang to find rare items. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, I don't need this. You got the idea? Okay. That's interesting that that becomes permanent. There's some more herb. No, come on. I need my wind crystal back or I'm going to die. I literally have no other exit strategy now. I knew as soon as I saw those guys, I should have just started exiting. We're gonna lose so much progress. This is infuriating, okay. I don't have any, like, weird... Waters for the monster. Yeah, I have no way out right now. Stay in one room, he will come to you. Okay, that guy just stole my diamond shield. Which sucks, but... Oh, he... Oh, okay, this one's running. He's much faster than me. Oh, it has nothing left. Where did he... Wait, I have an idea. Catching him though. In my experience, if they run, they have one of your items or a low on HP. Yeah, stay there and block the exits. He stole a violet egg. That is not what I expected. the diamond shield back. He did not seem to like being hit with an item. No, he didn't care about that. Okay. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank God. Nope, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm officially called panic. I'm panicking. I'm just getting out of here now. <sighs> Take a bow? Just go. Take a bow? Yeah. No. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm 100% out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm 100% out. We got way too many, like, <laughs> we got way too many things. And we got way too many um, sand upgrades there. Nope, I'm out. I'm just out. Nope. 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 Hi, Mom. Nope. I panicked. Absolutely panicked. GG! <laughs> yeah. Nope. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I officially panicked. Um, okay, money. And we got a bloom. That's fine. Um, vital sword and the money. Okay. The medicinal we wanted to hang on to. Diamond, nice. I forgot we got that back. And then the blaze. Okay, this is definitely not going to set a record for best sell, but that's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. 
No, 48 actually is more than I thought. That was an interesting mechanic I just saw. Yeah, apparently if you hit them with something that causes damage, they will turn around and come fight you, even if they're carrying an item. So, worst case scenario, you just whip out some item you're carrying and like chuck a you know, leather shield at them and hope for the best? No, I'm not sleepy. Thank you, Selfie. I'll be waiting in the living room. Great, thank you, Selfie. No, that wasn't it? Oh, okay. What 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 else what is the other thing then? Increases attacking power, increases defensive power. Medicinal we got the pit of fruits we can take in. And the recovery. We have three white well that would only get it to nine though. Fudge. But we have the water too, that's good. I love when I do something crazy and it turns out it's a strategy someone might appreciate. Ika's seen that a lot, haven't you, Ika? All the weird nonsense that happens on my streams that's not supposed to happen ever. Ika's seen it. He's been around long enough to see the crazy nonsense that happens to me. Weapon was when they carry an item, if you hit them with an item, it turns them around. Is that what was going on there? Ika has to admit that I have... The amount of weird things um, that has happened to me is 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 uh, almost impossible. Some of the weirdness. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's what was happening. I thought maybe I was like by doing damage, I was triggering it to want to attack me, so it was coming back at me. But it was literally just being hit and then turning around and coming my way. Oh, okay. That is pretty interesting. Oh wait, open the safe again. I wanna check and see what I've got in there. Okay, I'm gonna do this. So I could finish up the sleep. Mazar, Mazar. And these are all like levels. We got three pitas we could bring with us. And several medicinals we can already bring with us. I mean, we could pump Hitch Tid's MP up a bit. It wasn't turning them around. He increased their aggro by attacking them. Really? Okay. So I was right. We did that. Shouldn't get aggro when you carry when carry an item. They shouldn't get aggro when carry an item. Well, well, it sounds like we have two experts here who need to uh, do some testing. Do we come back? Do we all do we all like stream John Phoenix playing together? And me and Cardinal uh, come in as es uh, expert commentators, and we uh, we do a, a try stream. Yeah, some collabing. Even if it hit them, so it was turning them around, same as if you threw a monster into another monster. Oh, that's an option. <laughs> I didn't think that would be an option. I just thought you could pick them up or set them down. I didn't think about the fact. I guess I could have picked up one and hit the other one and seen what happened. They do though. If they were just getting turned around, they would just start running again when they got in range. Yeah, it's very strange. I don't know. Yeah, we have plenty of wind crystals and water crystals. We got three of the whites. I guess what do I want to do on the next run? It's almost seven o'clock. Hmm. Pita 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 pita. Shumaro shumaro. I mean, we can take the pita fruit with us, right? And we just pump Hitch Tib on this next run. So we leave both of these here. And the medicinal. And we just leave, we take the, the four pitas with us. Actually, that should be fine. We'll find a, a blue a blue thing before, a blue a wind crystal beforehand. So we'll sell the bloom, we'll go pick up Hitch Tib. What? Oh, um, I, I, yeah, please, I guess so. A snack has been offered to me by the food lady. Oh, okay, thank you. And thank you. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, all right, thank you. I'd have to see the replay. I didn't actually see the picket attack only turn around. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure there was at least one time the picket ran up and attacked me. 
At least once. But don't worry, we have the YouTube repository, Raven Hillbrook Inc. over there in the YouTubes, where I will get this uploaded. Mm, probably social media won't do it tonight, maybe, but here in the next couple days for sure. And it had an item? I'm pretty sure it did, yeah. At least one of them did for sure. Okay, so we'll go get Hitch Tib. And we'll, um, we'll, we'll pump him. We'll pump him from MP food. Hurricanes win game five, three to one. Nice. Hello, Hitch Tib. Did you enjoy your vacation? Now get in the bag, you idiot. If it was a thrown item that turned him around, wouldn't the seed he threw have turned it around? No, because the seed didn't do any damage. He just ate it and kept running. I think it was only when I was hitting him and doing any amount of damage, he would turn around and come running back at me. I don't know if that was just turning him around or if he was actually becoming aggroed or whatever, but one way or the other, they would come back to me. Yeah, he ate the seed. You saw the effect go off on it. I am heading off to the tower, Mom. A pit of fruit was received. I'm curious where Mom is getting those, by the way. Kiss, kiss. Mm -hmm. I know, Nico and Fur, too. Being rude, get away from Mr. Selty, blah, blah, blah. I'm leaving. I mean, I'm happy this, this stream is um, helping with debate. I don't know. I only really know how it affects wee dogs and killers. It's usually what I uh, end up throwing items at. Oh. That's good enough. The damage item would simulate a wall. When they hit a wall, they turn around. It's the same mechanic essentially we spent. Speedrunners used to turn monsters in our path we don't want to fight. Oh, interesting. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I'm surprised they wouldn't just readjust after that turn and then start running in a different direction, but that's really interesting. Here, take this balloon. Okay, how much money do I have? I have, okay, I have enough to go build the casino also. All right, All right we can go build the casino, everybody. I think that'll be the last major upgrade of the town at that point that I'm, uh, I have access to. Oh, it's you, Celty. I always look. I always get feel get the feeling I'm gonna do some work when you show up. You know, you want some work? I do want some work. What do you want me to build? Let's build the casino. Where in the city do you want to build? Wait, there's still two options. That's actually kind of surprising to me. So do we want it next to the pool? Or do we want it next to the arcade? Mm. Let's put it over here next to the, the racetrack. Normally they do, either way I'll play with it later. I'll do research on it. Okay, well if you figure it out and it turns out it's a thing, um, you have to name it like the the, the cell tier effect or something. Are you sure you'd be pleased with my work? I always am. You do amazing work. I'm very curious to see what this casino looks like that cost $100,000 to build. Yeah, but you have to call it this, the, the, the cell tier, like skip or feed or effect or whatever. I, def I found it. You have to, it has to be named after me. Oh, everyone's back now. Well, that's nothing. I gotta wait till their, her dad leaves again or something. 
I have to come over when her parents are at home or I'm not gonna get anywhere. Welcome. I have to eat something. Please be seated here. Anybody about the, that the other day? Wait, what's that? But it would be bad luck to share a secret with this guy. You're just can concentrate on how you can show your love to me. Huh? What? That's right, Selty, you and I have a secret that only we know about. That means we've got a secret relationship. What shall we do? Let's take good care of it. Uh-oh. This is exciting. Well, what do you like to eat today? Do you, are your special prawns on the on the menu now? Spiral rice chicken. No, I guess not. We'll have to wait until our dad leaves again. Um. Give me some. Uh, I mean, sure, shining prawns is fine. Or fried shining prawns. Coming up, just a moment. My specialty: deep fried prawns, right? Haha! -ha! Prawns. Here you go, enjoy. Munch, munch. What you're having suits you better. Have you ever tasted it? Well, it's got this nice gentle taste that, no, no, I've never such a thing in my life. Shining prawns. Yeah. It so Shining prawns sounds like a um, Yu-Gi-Oh card. I'm happy I didn't get anything too expensive. I forgot I'm almost out of money. <laughs> All right, um, okay. So we can't take all of these with us because that would be against the rules of the tower. It's Celty, it's Celty right here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh my God. Okay, run away. Have you washed dishes yet? I have not, I've always paid my tab. One way or another, I've managed to always pay my tab. What is it? I need to open the safe, Mom. It's so weird that her name is Wraith. That still throws me off. No, there's nothing more. Is that so? That is so, Mom. Okay. So we're gonna do a we're gonna do a, a hitch tip run here. No, I don't think he he has. Washing dishes hurts building the relationship with Patty, though. Oh, does it? Okay. Well, I mean. I'm also gonna save just in case this goes absolutely backwards, but I guess, I mean, even if I die here, it doesn't really cost me anything, right? The money stays outside and Hitch Tib still gets to keep the increased eight, uh, MP. Yeah, I figured doing any of the, the weird stuff like not paying is probably bad. I think that's why Patty is taking so much longer to progress with. Um, because there was a couple of times where I've walked out with forgetting that I need to pay bef afterwards instead of beforehand. So I'm assuming that probably stalled the relationship a little bit. All right, Hitch Tib, you're about to get a bunch more MP. Which is good. You already have 100. So. MP increased slightly. And now it's 101. Perfect. Had I known this was an option, I guess I could just, every time we pull them out, just give them the pit the pit we start with. And we'd just be constantly getting one every time we come in here. At a minimum. Probably should go to the library more. Oh yeah, I forgot the library even exists already. We just literally had it built last last time out of the tower. So I forgot, we'll have, I completely forgot about it. That's fine, though. Because there's two women there that were kind of, like, talking to me in a weird way. So I'm not sure which one's going to be turn out to be the thing, or both, maybe. But one's got a husband, so... Yeah, library too, yeah. I don't know about the one with the husband. I don't know about that nonsense. I'm not here to wreck homes. You know? Ha, <laughs> we did two damage! That's actually very funny to me. I, didn't, I always assume we just do one damage at level one with our fists. This, and these, and what's back here? And money. Oh, that's it? I would really like to just find a shield. More what I'm concerned with than anything. Honk. I 
threw that punch a little early. That's okay. We're okay. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't sure what to expect with the pool either. The pool was kind of interesting. You know if they're important because they get better art. Oh, okay. I thought it was just because they had a name, but it's it's better art. Okay, so it's got to be the the girl with the uh are the well, I guess he'd technically be a woman. The woman with uh um the squiggly uh glasses then. Her art seemed a little better. She's the one who said that she doesn't like when men come up and talk to her. So. Oh, great. This is going to be a sand run. And, of course, I don't have my weapons with me. Which means I'm going to have to do a whole separate sand run just to level up my weapon. I mean, at least we could still get around since, the you know, we've determined that I'm strong enough for that. But... It's so obnoxious you can't use any of this stuff outside of the tower. I really would prefer it if you could. Let's put it that way. It'd be really nice. I don't know why they, they make that restriction. Does that you does that you can date the old man chef? What? The old man chef? What do you mean the old man chef? Classes girl, yes, always be nice and listen. Okay. Yeah, she said, don't, you know, come over here, so I left. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm gonna need... I don't know how this is gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna need... The lonelier. I think I'm gonna have to, like, one-shot him to get this to work. Okay. Okay, hitch tib. Play covers, covers your finger. Yes. I think this. I know, you cannot date the priest. Nobody's important. Oh, the, the old man. Oh, chief. Chief. I was thinking it was chef. The priest. No, thank you. Mexpert is good. Okay, that's what I'm, I was thinking. Oh, it only does nine. Oh, he didn't do it again! No, you idiot! I need you to do it again! Ah! I thought he would keep doing it. Darn it. Well, that's two for him. And Hitchtib throws a heal on me after the fact. Thank you, Hitchtib. Thanks, Hitchtib. You're, you're doing great. You're doing great, Hitch Tib. Just keep it up. I keep you around because, you know, you can fly, I guess. Why is my Hitch Tib gotta be dumb? Why is my Hitch Tib gotta be so dumb, everybody? Probably should have just got not done the duel as soon as you were in a bad position. Ah, eh, probably. But then that's like a loss by default. You know, I wanna at least go down swinging, you know? Ooh, an Earth Shield. Watch it be cursed at a negative one. No, no, we're okay. Exit loop was retained. Okay, all we need now is a wind crystal. Ow. Oh my god. He absolutely obliterated me. The What's that? Darkest... Darkest Twilight? Welcome with a raider of six. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome raiders. Welcome to the board. Darkest twilight, darkest raid. It's so dark, oh no. The shadows are everywhere. They're coming from my soul and my eyeballs. Why my eyeballs? I need my eyeballs. Um, but well, but welcome. What, uh, what were you playing? Oh no, it is a negative one sword. But, oh, but, dank? Take the shield off fighting fire enemies. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I find it funny that he runs and calls you Rust. He has never been higher than floor five. According to his lore, anyhow. Really? He's only been to floor five? Wow. And isn't he supposed to have been leveling up and stuff every time you fight him? Ow. Hitch tip, can you please get over here? 
Oh, I aimed the wrong direction. I'm trying to look at two different things at the same time. Hello, how are you? I'm doing well, how are you? Welcome, thank you for the raid. What, what were you playing? Okay, we're only taking three from them. Are you, or are you also a, uh, uh, um, a player, a, a speed runner of the old, uh, um, Azura Dreams? Playing some Minecraft on a server. Oh, okay, fun. Do you have uh, any specialties on the server, or is it just, like, basic Minecraft? I know, uh, modified servers are super popular these days. Level four. Can I please get on the other side of this now? Thank you. God. Darkest is a mod for me. Oh, okay. That's fantastic. So you're playing on, um, what's it called? Um, oh, I, know, I should know this. Oh God, I don't remember what, what the server is. It's the one a bunch of you play on, right? That you uh, all uh, um, do your your um, like YouTube uploads and stuff from basic Minecraft really, but I have a fair share of modded stuff as well. Uh -huh. No different server from me. Oh, okay. No, I'm not a Metacraft server. There you go, Metacraft member. Okay. Gasp. What? Oh, an egg. Green egg and some ham. Let's go. Waka waka, everybody. Waka waka. Um. Roll them, herb. Okay. I don't. Excuse me? Where... Okay, there we go. I wasn't sure what was going on there. How dare you forget the name of Metacraft? I apologize. It was not jumping into my mind. I had a lot of stuff on my brain right now, and the name of of uh, Lady Zentra's server is not not the first thing up there, unfortunately, at this moment. All right, so I mean, what kind of mods do you run? I assume it's a lot of visual mods. I've seen some pretty wonky ones, like uh, I think it's Iron Mouse. I've seen her playing. She's got like pinks and purples for everything, and everything's hearts and rainbows and stuff. That one Credomaft server, you know what? You you have a Creta a Credomaft server? Eka, I would never. I didn't think I wouldn't have pegged you for a a, a Minecraft player. But I mean, good on you. Oh no, now he has anorexia. That's not, I'm not joking. That's literally what he just got cursed with. I don't know how long that lasts, by the way. The only downside is that means he, we can't feed him an Olam fruit. Well, I was working on, <laughs> I was working on another roof for the server and I was making a tunnel for the end portal. Oh, okay. That seems like important work. I mean, how are you going to get your shocker boxes and your, um, your, um, uh, Elytra, your Elytra. I'm trying, I'm trying everybody, all right? I'm not the, the Minecraft person. I did play Minecraft way back when. Same. I bought it pretty early on. It's like third iteration where I was supposed to have it forever. And then a, one update went through and I lost all ability to access it. I emailed the guy and be like, hey, I can't get into this anymore. And I never heard back from them. And I just lost my 10 bucks. It's very frustrating. Mainly made weird inventions and stuff for fun. Got really into shovel, shoving hundreds of creatures into a single tile of space. Yeah, I mean, early Minecraft was pretty busted. You're not wrong. Oh, you know what? Well, I have everyone here, by the way. So we do a, a para a para sponsorship around this year. Um, last last week's well last our last uh, contract was uh, Mountain Dew Flaming Hot. This this contract is for Dr Pepper Dark Berry. Dark Berry, everybody. Uh, it's the slogan we came up for was "Rip into it like a raptor into a goat." Um, it tastes like a melted blue uh, slushy. Or icy, an icy. Um, I like it. I actually find it very good. But yeah, so just remember, um, if you're ever thirsty, 
Remember to rip into your thirst like a raptor rips into a goat with Dr. Pepper. Very dark. It's okay, I forgot stuff from Minecraft 2 when, though. I've been playing Alpha and Beta. Wow, so you've been at it for for ages. <sighs> Selty, if you want to trip over a rock, that's fine, I guess. That's your choice, but I don't appreciate it. Ooh, just a bunch of free money, okay. I still need an exit strategy, by the way. Okay. I mean, that, these are options, I guess. <laughs> I'm a boomer, woo. <laughs> what? All right, you got me with the boomer oo woo thing. All right, thank you. I made a cannon based on that. It's a shot of a bunch of creepers out of it. The thing I was, I made was a shoved a bunch of pigs into a single tile space and used it to power my Minecraft minecarts before there were powered rails. How would so what pigs would push it? How did that work? Because there's not like a pulley system, and there's not like one of those wheels that you can put animals in to make them like move things. How did you manage to pull that off? That sounds really strange. Let's after seven, okay. Basically all we need now is an exit strategy. Otherwise I'm gonna call this a complete success. Cause I mean, Hitch Tip God is extra, wait. What? Wait, why is it only 102? Shouldn't it be 104? That's, Confusing. Huh. That's quite odd to me. It should be 104, not 102. Maybe it doesn't always work? Maybe it's a percentile thing? What do I have to feed him, by the way? Um, here, you can have this. I just need to keep him f MP his MP up now. Which is bad. Though I guess his ship can curse or a uh, curse, cast uh, heal. So it's not the worst thing ever. Ow! Stop it! Yeah, I'm very curious on how you pulled that off, Ika. Using pigs to to power a, a minecart. First one increased to 105 max, but left him at 100 total. Second brought him total to 101. Third to 102 max. One. Oh, okay. So it doesn't fill him up. It just only raises his total. Interesting. Ah, okay. Wow, that is a brutal mechanic then. They really do not want you to cheese that too much. Yeah, at best they just want you to like... Alright, well I need to eat some dinner, my my dude, have fun with your stream. Thanks! Have fun with uh, have have a good dinner. I hope it is delicious, nutritious, and 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 pretty to look at too. That's an important part of food. People don't talk about it. How important it looks. Or if you're in Ika's case, you know, you actually enjoy the food you're eating and not just eating it because it was cheap. Let's see, I put a, a rail on one of the tiles cornering the pig tile, and if I pushed a Minecraft cart into the pig sticking out tile, it'd give the Minecraft enough power to max speed. Wow, that's crazy. I wonder if it'd be more worthwhile to use a big pit to increase max than regular pit to fill to total? What, well, what would an effect would that do? Or you mean on like the next one and like bring the big pita in? Would that give him two in, in one movement or? Okay, well that's good. Ugh, I don't need a familiar bell. I need an exit strategy, people. I need a wind crystal or an olum fruit. But yeah, thanks again, uh, Dusk Twilight for the, uh, the raid. 
straight up. I need I need this exit strategy. Come on. Where, where's the wind crystal? I need an Olin fruit or a wind crystal team. That's all I need. I need one or the other. The rest of this is all optional stuff. I would think that the big Vita would give more to Max since it standardly gives twice as much refill. You would hope so, but we don't know for that for sure. Um, let's see. The pig corner gave the card enough juice to move at a max speed all the way from one mountain to another mountain where my, base, my bases are. Work. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. I wonder if that still works. They must have fixed that by now, right? Like, there's no way that's still the situation, right? Oh, we got another red sand? Come on. I need a way out, team. Please, for the love of God, give me a wind crystal. I need this wind crystal. We've got two red sands on us now. And if I die, they go away. Please. Oh, wait, there might be one more room up here. No, it looks like it's just a connecting thing. We just need to run. No, shit. Where is the elevator? Okay, you should come with me. Double check, just in case. Okay, it's just a path. There's no room there. We gotta go. We gotta get an extra strategy. Come on. Come on. Please, please. I just need, I just need one wind crystal or an Olam fruit. Either one. I'll take either one. I will basically trade everything in my inventory except Hitch Div for another Wind Crystal. Why are you buffering for so long? It happens to the best of us. What can you do? Wake up, Herb. Wake up, Herb. Wake up, Herb. He doesn't even need to wake up. I just need to keep him MP'd enough that he doesn't pass out on me. Because if he passes out, I am a dead man. I do not have the experience to, to dodge around like these pros that are in chat right now. Like the John Phoenixes, and the Cardinals of Exodus, and, and the... I do not need a money wand! Or a uh, uh, Hextree, if Hextree was around. Oh, a diamond shield, you say? Yeah, this is going really badly. I really, really, really need an exit strategy. Like, drastically. No, hitch tip. Just money. I don't need just money. Wait, 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 wait. It's back here. I can't tell. Oh, it's just money. Oh, I'm so we are we are in a bad spot, team. This is not going well. Morale is fading quickly. Knowing my luck, he'll pass out, and then I'll find an Olam fruit. And then I won't be able to have a, a Mon to give it to. An Acid Rain Ball. Okay, that might actually save me. Wait, what is this? Beam recitates a fainted familiar. That might work? I don't have time for this. I'm literally trapped. I was literally trapped and it could not regress. Let's go. Come on, wind crystal. 
crystal. Come on, wind crystal. We're so far along. Usually by the fourth floor, I have a wind crystal. We are now on floor seven. I'm being, I'm, I'm, I'm actively being robbed. Oh wait, there's an Olam fruit. We're okay. We're okay. Um, Ty. Okay, we found an Olam fruit. Okay, we have an exit strategy then. I've got two red sands on me, and we're just gonna leave. Okay, um... Okay, you go? Oh, that's fine. Okay, so I have to throw this at Hitch Tip, right? What? What do you mean he returned it? No. Use it? Okay. Uh, so you have to re-trigger traps. I might have to test to see if I can get a sword negative 100 and see how it sucks. How do you, how would that, how do you get a negative one on it? Like rust? Does the rust cause the negative ones? Level seven. I don't care about that, like at all. For the love of God, let me use this Olam fruit. Give? Why will you not eat this Olam fruit? What is happening? Will he not eat it from the ground? Do I have to... Okay, now will you eat it? What is happening? Why will he not eat this Olam fruit? Uh, experts? Any experts? Can someone please tell me why I cannot use this? By the way, you're trying to use an ice-based attack on Ghosh. Apparently a fire type. And yes, Rust Trap. He's a fire type? Ghosh is a fire type. Fantastic. I, uh... Why isn't this working? Does anybody know why this isn't working? It's worked before. Is Hitch Tib is Hitch Tib too high a level? Ship is about to pass out too. Can I, if he passes out, can I feed it to him like when he's asleep? Anybody know? Anybody, any of the experts, please, for the love of God, I am panicking. We need to like figure this out. I don't think I've seen you ever actually use the home. I, I swear I've thrown it at him multiple times. No, I know we used it because I had an Olam. We had an earlier in one of the runs, I had an Olam fruit and a wind crystal, and I hit him with an Olam fruit so I could keep the wind crystal, right? Maybe the module realized it's a goof up from before and now you can't feed him a what? That cannot that that's not a thing, is it? You gotta be kidding. You you have to be kidding with me right now. A gold sword. Great, yeah. This is fantastic, everybody. You hug the egg. And throw Olam at the monster that comes out. That should work. I do I I don't have an egg though, do I? Oh, I have a green egg. I have a green egg. Force hatch the egg in your inventory. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, have name give. Okay, heat up. Be exhibited in this hex. Oh, oh, because of the sword. Because of the sword. Oh, <gasps> he has anorexia. The, that one monster gave him anorexia, anorexia earlier, so he won't eat. And it's still affecting him. It's still affecting him. That's That's gotta be what it is. Oh, and I don't have... And I don't have... He was 
found pre-4-5, then it's likely a weak egg. Draugerville, welcome. Olam sacrifices a creature, right? Maybe you cannot use it because you cannot sacrifice your starter. I, I'm sure I've used the Olam before. I think he has anorexia from the beginning. Because I remember when uh, Dusk uh, uh, Dusk Knight or, or, or whatever came in, I, I made a joke about, oh no, he's got anorexia. No, that's a real thing. He actually still has anorexia, so he won't eat the food. He won't eat the Olam fruit. That's why it's not working. That's why it's not working. Is because he has anorexia right now. Hold on. Can I... Oh, it doesn't tell me if he has it or not. All right. All right, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just hatch this egg, and then we'll use the egg on whatever's in the egg. It's fine. Well, we have a second option now. <clears throat> we'll just hatch the egg, collar it, then hit it with the olum fruit, and we'll get out of here. Okay, so, so if I hatch this egg, will it just give me the option to collar it right away, or what do I have to do? It shows that he is healthy, though. That's why I'm confused. That's the only thing I can think of. I have to get out of here, though. Hitchship is about to pass out. Okay, so when I hatch this egg, will it just prompt me to, to collar him? Or do I have to do something special? I cannot mess this up or we're gonna lose all of this stuff. And I have so much good stuff on me right now. I can't take a second loss this hard in a second week in a row after we lost Itney. Just hatch, it'll be fine. All right. Oh, it's a, it's a blue Polonapa. Type Polum is hatched. Okay, it just goes in the bag. It just goes in the bag. I got flipped upside down and I don't care. Where is this thing so I can reversal? No. Where? Where is it? There's Hitch Tib. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Select. Pull him. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's super cute, but we're going to have to delete him from existence. Well, I wonder why he's blue instead of green. I guess maybe because he's not leveled up or something? Pull him was taken out. Cool. Um... Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so item. And then we olum fruit. And give it to... No, no. I need the other one. Give it to him. Water type. Oh, so there's actually varied types of each of them creatures? That's actually really cool. Um, water type one. Now you can call her and sacrifice the olum. Okay. Give him the olum fruit. We had so much good stuff on us on this run. I had like three red sands, some gold swords and like stuff. Wow, what a roundabout way of going about that. All right, we can sell that, we can sell this. Actually, that might not be a bad thing to hold on to. Earth, steel, the steel, okay. Uh, wind, sleep. I don't need that. I need rid of that. Star, truth, star, familiar. I'm gonna keep the red. Wow, that's some money. A diamond plus two? Uh, acid rain and a gold. Okay, wow. We actually, weirdly, we, we, we are setting a pretty high bar. Not as much as the 53,000 one we had that one time, but. Blue is water type, red is fire, and green is wind for the one. Other breeds have slightly different rules. Oh, okay. That's cool, though. That's very cool. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we need to keep these. 
All of this can go away. And sleep. Star, truth, star, familiar. Yeah, and we keep the red, and then all the money goes away. Diamond, acid rain. Yes, and this. Okay, we're good. All the stuff online says Kwane always rejects the Olam fruit. I swear we've used that on him before, but I guess not. 15,000. That would have actually been like my second high score. It's I think my third now. See, we would have lost all of this money and all this stuff. He is why I think he thing was just glitching before. That's so weird. Hello, fur. I know, get up or my brain's gonna melt out of my head. You're such a charmer. Alright. I know. E is why I think the thing was just glitching. That's so weird. Maybe I never have. I thought I I swear I'd had, but I guess not. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Alright, got some red herbs and we got a hitch tib. We've got 30 minutes left. Um We'll go to the library and talk to mom. Yes, I'm off to the tower. And take this with you. Thank you. Okay. Hey, I also need to open the safe, mom. In and out of it, right? I am. We're gonna put that away. Um. Put this away. I guess I could just bring my sword and not my shield and take both reds. Yeah, that would probably be okay. I mean, it's still risky. But it's less risky. We'll burn through less. And then we just give him the pita? Oh, you know what? You know what we can do? Hold on, hold on. I I'm willing to risk our, our bigger pita to see how this works out. We'll grab the, um, where is it? The, we'll grab the big pita. Because we don't know, we, Cardinal Mexes, you wanted to try this, right? What happens if we give him the big pita when he's at full MP? Will it give him more than just one, right? Okay. Okay. I still can't believe. We got, we got, we got through with that. Okay, hitch tip, red, red. We'll put that on the sword, right? Sword, and then the big pita to give him that. Now all we have to do, get it back anyhow. Well, yeah, yeah, but I prefer not to do that. I'm trying to play it somewhat authentically. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to be, you know, saves coming here. You off? I am off. See you, take care, kiss, kiss. This is still so strange to me that this is happening in this village. But we've also had our own ant hit on us, so who knows. Okay, let's get out of here. Wow. That's so weird. I could have sworn we've used Olin fruit on him before. Okay, I, I just need to go into the thing. We give it we give we give him this to see what happens, and then we use these to get the sword up to 20. And then all we need is just a wind crystal after that. All we need is a wind crystal. God, it's, it's, it's actually like freaking me out now. Okay, well we just saved, we just saved, so it's fine. Let's go, let's go to the library and go talk to Patty. So stressful. That was ten times more stressful than. Oh, there's nobody here. Everyone left apparently. But yeah, it's ten times more stressful than anything I think I've gone through in like getting over it. That was terrifying. I'm sorry. I just feel uncomfortable whenever a man approaches me like that. Okay, sorry. Welcome. Okay. Okay, we tried to talk to her. Nothing happened. Moving on. Um, and then, oh, we talked to this one. We've got to progress the relationship between the bartender or the, the, Vivian. I 
guess this is her dance. <laughs> she reminds me of like the teacup rides. Ooh, great timing. I was just about to take a break. Okay. I love that that implies I need to come over and talk to her. How's my dancing? You were really lively. You've got great sense when it comes to dancing. You know, when I get up on that stage, my body feels lighter. I'm like a bird escaping from its cage. See, have you ever felt like a gorilla escaping from its cage? You call me a gorilla? Was it that obvious? Sorry. What kind of weird? What? I used to live in the city of Haruka. The city had what they called a casino. Have you ever heard of it? Yes. I built one here in this town. They're real fun, aren't they? There was one point where I forgot about work and stayed there the day in and day out. Oh, you have a gambling addiction. She has a gambling addiction, everybody. All right, moving on. Welcome, Selty. Welcome, Mr. Selty. Okay, well, that's happened. I'm, mo I'm leaving. This woman is already bothering me. No, 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 no. All right, that's everybody. Let's go check out the uh, the new casino. Okay, should be around here. Okay, that's the arcade. Oh, okay, so, yeah, so, uh, uh, slot machine. Let's go. Prize zero G. Okay, so you can actually win money here. What is with the rabbit? Come on now, really? Welcome, oh, Mr. Owner. Yes, this casino is extremely popular amongst our customers. Won't you play a little now you're here? How, do I have to pay? Of course, it wouldn't be any fun otherwise, would it? Hit the switch in front of the lever by pressing the X button. And adjust the amount you wish to bet by pressing up or down on the directional button. When you've decided how much you wish to wager, press the X button. While rotating, the slot machine can be stopped by pressing the X button. If you match three of the same image, money will be paid. Make sure you remember to collect this money. Wow, you can leave money in the machine. That seems rude. Where's your ghost factory if you give gifts? And Vivian isn't bad. Each of the girls have their quirks, that's for sure. Yeah. She reminds me a lot of Fur in the way that she likes to insult me but still find me attractive. I'm so grateful for this place. At this age, I'm finally able to meet girls dressed as bunnies. They're about as cute as at a girl I dated long ago. Wow. Wow, 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 Oh, there's a door. Yes, yes, excellent. Excellent. Listen, listen, look, look, I got it. That's one million Gs. The goddess of happiness has been looking over me. Or am I the goddess? I think I remember you from before. First quirk is her twisted giraffe neck, yeah. Is this I'm a gambler okay welcome to the casino would you like an explanation of, of the game yes press X button for the switch you want to bet on just the amount you want to bet by pressing up pressing up or down on the directional button press X button when the betting amount has been determined Press X button when moving on to the, the diving board if you win a bet the roulette will spit out money make sure you collect the money Good luck. Oh, it's a giant, like, human-sized roulette. Oh, no, I used up everything I've got. Gosh, what am I going to tell my wife? Um, that you should have stayed in the library? Ouch, I've lost 200 gold today. But I'm still okay since I won 200 gold the other day. Wait a minute. I may remember losing 500 gold before that. Ouch, ouch. Oh, well, easy come, easy go. Wow, yeah, this casino is going to burn this town down, I guess. Um, all right. How much money do I have? Okay, I got 17,000. That's not that's not too bad. Oh, it has the, the highest bet. Okay, let's just start easy. Wait, how do I tell? Oh, oh, okay, so it's just coming right off the top. Uh, wait, where am I at? Okay, let's put like 400. Is that blue or red? Uh, I guess that was blue? 
So everyone is gambling addict in this town? Well, about half the town seems to be a gambling addict, yeah. Well, that was something. Let's try this. Um, $400. I cannot seem to control it at all. And we're back to blue. Isn't this supposed to, isn't blue supposed to be the, the riskiest one? Okay, 400 more dollars and we'll leave. Oh, and now this time, of course, it's going to be a red, isn't it? Whatever. Nonsense. Yeah, so making a casino probably just made it worse. Yeah, probably way worse. Wait, what? Wait, what just happened? Oh, I guess I left. I meant to go behind the counter in the back. Darn, I can never hit the blue and only hit by accident first shot. The first and second shot was both blue. What's this? Is there... I, I can do attack animations in here? That's weird. Wait, can I equip a weapon? I can have a weapon, but I can't equip it. Yeah, my first two shots were both blue, the rarest color. So I go. Okay, so the most you can bet is two. Wait. Wait, what? Hold on. Okay, yeah, the best, most you can bet is 300, and that gives you your best chance of winning. got three of the blue on the bottom. Womp. These are good for tourist traps, but I'm pretty sure the people here are all natives. I mean, we're supposed to have people coming in from to, to go into the tower, right? So, maybe? <laughs> well, maybe it's more of a... Maybe the thing is we're building tourist attractions to pull in tourism. I tend to, f to flush the slots. I can pretty reliably hit yellow on the roulettes. Oh, well, that's cool. All right, well, that was something. So we checked out the casino. We talked to Library Girl and, um, oh, we didn't check on Patty. We didn't check on Patty. Um, no, I need this one. Well, we also should probably talk to the carpenter to see if there's anything else to build besides the next monster hut. Oh, hi, Zelty. I'd like something to eat. Please be seated here. Yes, the food prepared by Patty is the best. The food is prepared by my father. Oh, well, you love me for... Love me... Wait, 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 wait. Well, your love for me is absorbed by the, by the food when you bring it to me. This great taste is the taste of your love, and therefore it is the same as if you had prepared it yourself. R really? I know, Selty. Do you mind if I prepare your order? <laughs> Leave me with my meal, winch. I'd love that. By flush, I mean that I always max bet the slots. Sooner or later, it always hits the jackpot. Oh, okay. Oh, great. It may not be as tasty as what my father makes, but I'll do my best. What did you want? Give me your, uh... Oh, crystal curry, the spiral rice, or the shining prawn. Give me them shining prawns. One order of fried shining prawns coming up just a moment. My specialty, deep fried prawns, right? I'm not feeling well, I'm leaving. Wow, this is, I think, the first time he's ever left before us. Usually he's still here when we leave. Where did Dosh go? He escaped from reality. Oh no, he hasn't paid yet. Man, I was in such a good mood. Oh well, here's your food. Looks good, I'll give it a try. Looks good, I guess. Thanks. Munch, munch. Let it, you really eat your food with enjoyment. It feels good just watching you eat. Would you leave me, Winch? Really? There's no rush. Take your time eating. Well, considering I can't eat anymore, no, I guess I can't. Wait, can I, like, steal his food? That's not. Boo! It comes to 150G. I'm paying. Thank you very much. Oh man, I love that I got Ghosh in trouble by upsetting him by ordering food. I did absolutely nothing to him but exist and he got upset. 
I'm ruining this man's whole life. I'm dating his sister while also dating two other women, seducing a, th a fourth woman, and I'm constantly beating him in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Kind of crazy. All right, um, um, we did the bar thing. Okay, I think we're good. in here we level up the sword and try this thing on hitch tip and see what happens ghost getting maximum character building yeah he'll either become miserable or he'll change and he has options not a lot of them but he has options apparently his money is not uh holding out for him all right let's try this hitch tip get out here all right, is everybody ready to see what happens if you give him a big print of fruit? Okay, he's currently at 102. Become frog? I mean, that would be interesting if that's the ending, but. So he's at 102 currently. So let's see what happens if we give him a big print of fruit. Chip, what is eating? Hitchip is increased slightly. So we have. Nope, it only still goes up by one. That's the second thing we've learned. Where's my, my, where's my note? Uh, no big pit of fruit. All right, good enough. Yeah. So science, it has prevailed, everybody. Okay, equipped. Put on. Uh, used. Great. One more. Okay. Here we go, everybody. Here we go. All right, so this is definitely, I don't even know if we'll finish this run, but it will at least make it get, you know, some way into the tower. Basically, all we're looking for now is an olum fruit to get out of here. We've done some science. And now it's just time to leave. Hmm. Actually, I don't know how much damage I'm going to take without my shield, so I can't put Hitch Tip away. Luckily, we're still going to one-shot most things. It's just... In the meantime, I don't know what, what's going to happen. Treasure over there? Oh, it's just money. Well, we're probably fine. It's not gonna be much money. Light seed? Yeah. Oh. It's cute. Okay, now with this sword, I should be able to one-shot Ghosh, so I don't think I'll need backup. Monster Tower. It's a little, uh, I don't I don't like that we're out of other cool things to happen here. It's just Celti, you feel lonely, I want my help, don't you? Just stay close to me, I feel lonelier. Am I about to hit you with my gold sword? You know what's about to happen. You see the sword in my hand. I never sheath it. I know, oh wait, I gotta get this herb, uh-huh, uh -huh. uh -huh. I mean, I guess the one good thing is we don't actually need to bring the medicinal herb in with us because we get one here. So we know we don't have to bring that with us. So we can start bringing something else. Like, uh, uh, I guess we could start bringing in our own wind crystal. And then if we get an extra one, we have one to replenish with. Oh, we're not one-shotting him yet. Close, but not quite. Nope, not yet. We are, we are here looking for the Olam, for the, uh, uh, Wind crystal only, apparently. Or an egg and an uh, 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 olive fruit. You should test the Takayaki sometime. In what way? To see if it also increases his HP? Or what do you mean? Because we tried the MP thing and that doesn't work. So you're, you're talking about his HP? He, he will drop a wind crystal when he runs. 
Something like one in 50 shots. Yeah, we've had it happen twice now, I think. But as you just said, it's quite rare. Oh, Wind Crystal. Thank you, Lord. We've got it. We've got an exit strategy, team. We've got an exit strategy. We're going to be okay. RNGs has, 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 has blessed us this run. See how much HP slash MP deals. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. I mean, they're a little pricey at $100 a pop, but I mean, if it's, I guess if it's more than the medicinal herb, it could be worth it. Both wind sword, that's not bad. It's a couple hundred bucks. Okay. I'm happy to leave. We got that wind crystal. So as long as we don't get stuck by one of those stupid pickets, we're good. We're good. I mean, I can't imagine this is going to go so well that we make it to, like, level 28 on this run, but... Ooh, a frog fruit. I wish the Providence spawned that early in the... Grubach Cave in Lufia. Gotta go down 20 floors before that spawns. Wow. That sounds intense. Sounds like you're camping, because it's intense. Um, but... Makes me concerned for Lufia now. The fear. The fear is real! Okay, we took five damage from that guy. It's not terrible, actually, but he is like a level one. Okay. The chaos. The chaos is spreading throughout our whole bodies, everybody. You're a chaos monster hunter. Oh, God! Nope. What are you doing? Okay, I have to wait for Kitch Tip to calm down. If he goes off, like, confused, he's just going to obliterate me. My face will become obliterated. Level four. Oh, we got teleported. We got a second wind crystal. That's good. Blaze ball. My face. Wait, do I have a... I do not. Okay. No, not intense. In caves. Option cave, but can give god tier weapons and armor slash accessories. Oh, okay. Well, if it's optional, then that's a little less scary for me. I thought it was going to be mandatory. I'm like, oh god. My luck. We have determined my luck. Oh my god. Oh, okay. We woke up. Well, that was pretty terrifying. Wow, tonight has been nothing. Nothing but in, in, in drama after drama after drama. Holy cow. I guess we defeated it. Or it teleported away? I don't know. We'll, we'll move on and we can have Hitch Tip, Hitch -tip heal us. Fine, everything's fine. Ooh. Blue sand, of course, the one we can't use on the spot, because why would that happen? Okay. I consider the Grubrak cave to be mandatory myself. I never run through the cave without hitting the cave at least a dozen times for weapons that can be found there. Wow, okay. What do I have on me? Um, okay, we can just give this stuff to Hitch to It's not anything important. Let me run through the mob. I'm tired, so mixed up words. It's fine. It's fine. You don't have to explain it to me, Cardinal. I get it. Plus, you're, like, super busy right now, aren't you? Aren't you, like, stationed somewhere and going through a bunch of stuff at the same time? Isn't your work, like, out of control? Something along the same lines as OSR's nonsense. But, you know, military-based instead of 
some private shadowy organization that has lots and lots of heavy equipment that OSR has to maintain. I'm pretty sure he works for Cobra, but... I mean, I could be wrong. I don't know enough about Cobra to be sure, but... The way he describes it feels like how Cobra works. Like, I swear if one day he posted a picture and his uniform is just, like, blue with, like, a face covering, he's definitely working for Cobra. Definitely working for Cobra. Nothing in that whole big room? Really? Kind of feel lied to there a bit. Pitch Tip is just in the mood. He wants that sweet, sweet revenge. I mean, we know why he wants it. He, he was mistreated by all the monsters, so he, he came back to the human world. Luckily, he ran into us, who treats him right, and he didn't run into, like, some evil monster hunter, I guess. But... No, I'm sitting in the vending room at the library center, enjoying the start of my 96, well, 40 hour, then 24 thanks to Frickle Duty, Duty Day Sunday. Oh, no. Do you at least get, like, Monday off for the, the holiday? I don't know how that works for, for veterans. For active military people. We got two wind crystals. Two separate wind crystals. It's like a lap of luxury that I have these wind crystals. Okay, we take nine. It's no armor, okay. I find it I still find it interesting that we take a minimum of one damage, no matter how much armor we have. That's I guess that's probably a nice, a better thing than not. Ooh, hey. Wine red? Did that say wine red? Wow, what a weird color choice. Monday is at 24, I was talking. Oh, okay. Yeah, that seems super brutal. So I guess that means everybody else got it off, but you got short straw and had to work? Hitch tip, I was trying to do a thing. Light seed, don't really need it. I do like that I can pick that up and then hit a monster with it and I just chain it, change its actual, like, existence type. Ah, it's fine. We're basically out of room, so I'm just gonna leave. Hitch Tip's gonna run around murdering stuff. Yeah, it's gonna be better. I'm, I can't lie, I'm gonna be happy when I'm done with this hat. It's just so wacky. Treasure loop. Oh, that actually might not be a bad one to just throw it. Use. Okay. Okay, I've got a little bit of treasure. Because, I mean, the only reason to go to a lot of these rooms is just... Just for treasure potential, right? I mean, there's no real reason to, like, search every little nook and cranny. There's not, like, secret walls to find or something. It's literally loot and or... Um... Um, the exit is the only thing to find. Though I don't even know how, like, ma fake walls would work in this. This is gonna be one of those ones, huh? Where everything is constantly gonna be getting teleported. Hitch Tip was not brainwashed. That's good. Oh, there's Hitch Tip right there. Light Seed hits the balloon. The balloon is turned into an air type, even though it was already an air type or whatever. Or a fire type? I don't remember what light does. Hitch Tib. Where did you go? I was right behind you. Hitch Tib, you idiot. Where did he go? There he is. Thank God. Okay, he saw me that time, apparently. Light is fire, okay. So yeah, we turned it from a wind type into a, into a fire type. I'm sure that's gotta be fine. I'm sure that doesn't feel weird at all. Oh God. Oh, he's still coming for me. Get him, get him. Oh, there's a pit of fruit, okay. Well, that helps some. Um, 
I wish that leveled up with everything else. Okay, great. Now we can give him the pit of fruit. Yeah, he's gonna need it. Uh, not the tube of fruit. We don't want to turn him into a frog. Oh, I... Oh, God. I accidentally ate the stupid thing. I forgot if I use something that's meant for one of them, I still eat it and consume it, even though it doesn't make any sense. Why though? I don't know. Water is water, and wind is wind, and in the crystals, fire crystal is a thing. But seeds? Nope. I'm gonna name the fire thing light. Yeah, I don't... Maybe it's a translation thing? Like, it was supposed to be like fire of the sun, but it got translated to light instead? Eat the frog fruit? No. No. Okay. Okay, that's basically it then. I was hoping to save the frog fruit for one of those monsters, the big monsters that we got to on like level 27 or whatever. That was like obliterating both of us. But we're definitely not going to get that far, I don't think, on this one. Unless I get weird, something weird happens where we, like, go to this next floor and there's just a pit of fruit waiting for us, we're probably almost done. Eighth floor. Unless I can start feeding, uh... Bonk. Do we treasure loop, actually? Actually... Oh, wait, we have another pit. Wait. Oh, did he not? Wait. What happened? I guess he didn't actually eat it like I thought he did. Okay, we might actually have some something to do here, then. Okay. 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 We might actually be okay here. Oh, the Mana Nova became blind. Oh, God. Okay. I think it's funny to turn monsters into their opposite elements. Yeah, that's gotta be weird, right? That's gotta cause some kind of physical pain. I mean, when you're changing the very base nature of a creature like that, it's gotta hurt. Another blue sand, okay. I mean, that's good, it's just, it's obnoxious, it's not red, so we could just use it now. It just means I'm gonna have to do another run with it to level it up out in the dungeon. Luckily, we've got the extra wind crystal, so. Ooh, a troll sword. Those are usually worth like a thousand dollars on their own. Um, this way? This way. Okay. Last bit of treasure is... Oh, I finally found a shield. It's only a copper shield, but... And it's not cursed. Great. Cool. Let's get out of here. Ow! I got blown up by a bomb. A bombity bomb that is a bomb. That is not helping very much. I actually expected that to take the damage off a little bit better. And no, he ate it. He just picked up another pit of fruit? Did I? I didn't think I had a second one. Weird. Alright. That's so strange. So many odd choices. so weird to me. Oh, wow. He's actually doing four damage. It's kind of funny to have a flame or volcano that is water-based or a fire slash wind based kraken. Yeah, a fire kraken? I mean, that sounds awesome. But, like, what even is that? What is a fire kraken? Oh, the dodge. The dodge, though. Level eight. Uh, oh, come on. <coughs> I was going to do a thing. I don't even know if it worked.
Okay, I guess it did work. I malicious scrolled him. It's a weird dead end. All right. I feel like you don't see that very much. Oh! Come on. No, 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 no. Don't wander off. He's wandering off, isn't he? Okay. Oh, but it doesn't show monsters. It only shows everything else. Okay, we'll just go up this way. We'll just go up this way. This is the least threatening one of each. Okay. We're okay? We're okay? Oh. There's another enemy up there. Nope, 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 nope. nope. We're done. We're out. We're out. We're out. Not even gonna play around. We're out. We're out. No, 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 no. Cancel it. It's can't. Uh, uh, cancel it. It's all canceled. Call it off. Call it off. We're done. This runs over. Oh my god. It's brutal when you get so many teleportation traps and you got Hitch Tip running around doing whatever it wants. I'm selling some stuff, Mom, and I am going to bed. Um. So this and this. that. The golf win. Nice. It's cursed. Tuna. Oh, no, no. We want to keep the wind. Blaze. We keep that. Vital. Mahal. Another bloom we don't need. Wooden. Yeah, the troll's a thousand. Room and a copper shield. Okay. I think we're good there. As long as we keep... The, really, the big thing is this and the two blue powders. Eh, 47,000, not, 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 or 4,700, that's not anything special. Oh, God, okay. Oh, no, oh. oh, it's Nico's turn. Okay, wake up. That's good, sleepyhead. Yeah, I know, I know, wake up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look cool as always. So if I put this this back and I take the shield, I bring this and not hitched him. We can leave the medicinal. Okay, I think we're okay. I think. Oh, God. Favorite ask. What is it? Open the safe for me, please. Okay, I am going to transfer things. Yes. Okay, so we leave this here. We sell the bloom, so we'll need the shield. Okay, and then I can tell I'm getting tired because it's getting harder and harder to think about. Okay, so we take both of these. That's two, three, four, and a wind crystal would be five. And we don't bring Hitch Tip with us. Yes, I think that'll be fine. So, yeah, okay, cool. So, okay, yeah, we go sell. Are you leaving now? I am leaving now. That hair has got to be so weird to maintain. I don't know how you would do that. I don't like... Wait, I just noticed she's got, like, a weird... See that weird... It looks like a bald spot on her model, but on the, like, like on her little... On the conversation window, she's got that weird, like, bald spot whoop, running up the middle of her head. On her on her in-world model, though, it only runs up a little ways. It's more like a, a part in her hair. I just noticed that. That's kind of strange. Uh-huh. Like, her hair's full. There's no none of the, nothing there. But I guess fur has the same thing. She has kind of a weird part that runs all the way to the middle of her head. Kind of strange. I've never noticed that before. I wonder if that's like a an active choice 
Or if that's just a characteristic uh, of the locals or something. Okay. So... We gotta leave Hitch Tip here, but that's fine. We gotta go sell the Bloom. Blooms are pretty tough, too. I'm surprised they're only worth 800. It really makes me sad that we haven't come across another Kraken egg. Uh, come to sell. What kind of monster is it? Is it an egg? It is, in fact, an egg. Bloom. Uh, how about... Yep, I'll sell. He is going to bald, and Fur has giraffe neck. Yeah, and she's going bald. She's got the same kind of weird um, part in her hair. Does the music always sound like this when I come in here? Why does the music sound weird to me? On the tower, a monster ate the steel sword I had. And he sped out a gold sword and went off somewhere. Well, I took that gold sword and made a bundle selling it. Oh, I hope I can meet that monster again sometime. Yeah, we've run into something like that. Dragons only eat metals. That's pretty picky with their food, I'd say. Dragons? Wow, I hear you made it to the level 20. I don't believe there's a single soul left in this town who's got that the upper hand on you. All right, so no one else gets that high. Yeah, the music is the same? Oh, okay. I guess I've just never noticed it get wonky like that. Oh yeah, we wanted to go talk to the carpenter guy to see if there was anything else to build besides the monster hut level two or level three, I guess. Oh, it's you, Salty. For some reason, yeah, when you see me, you want to do work. I know, I know. Um, yeah, all we have is just the hut three. Okay. I assume since there's one space left to build in, something else is gonna pop up. I just don't know what. Unless it's gonna turn out to be one of those things like we're gonna to talk to the dance lady, Viv Vivian, and she's gonna want her own theater or something. Oh, I guess she left. All right, cool. Welcome, Mr. Selty. Welcome, Mr. Selty. Okay, so I guess she was off today. All right, um... Oh, this is the bowling alley. I forgot we even built this thing. It's so weird. I don't like the living bowling ball and the bowling pulling pins. That's a really strange one. I know they play it for last, but it's really strange. Try the theater? Okay. Oh, that makes sense. She's a dancer or whatever. So that would make sense that she like... We meet a lot, don't we? You enjoy books too, don't you? My favorite books are the novels written by Yuki Katsu. In his novels, I feel I'm actually there. I just can't put them down. They're so good that... And then, mumble, mumble. Okay, mumble, mumble, mumble. Mumble, mumble, mumble. Mm -hmm. Mumble, 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 mumble. Mumble, 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 mumble. Mumble, mumble, mumble. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I just got so carried away. I've been often told that that much of what I say doesn't make any sense. Don't you find me kind of boring? You're boring. No, it's quite interesting. Wow, I've never got any get met anyone like you before. Well, I must be going. Okay. Mumble mumble character building. Mumble mumble, yeah, basically. Okay, so we read two books by that author, right? Oh yeah, here we go, let's read some books. I thought you had the rose and the unicorn. The unicorn appeared from the deep in the forest and mother in my memories. Child of the, okay, so those must be relevant. Maybe she's gonna ask me about what, if I like those books and if I know them. So the rose and the unicorn and mother in your memories or in my memories. Okay. Try the theater. That makes sense that Vivian would be in the theater if she likes dancing though. I thought maybe we could interact with it to get a something. Uh, I think the theater's over here, right? Yeah. I like how big the opening of the theater is. It's quite large. Okay. 
Okay, there's him. And there's those three. That's the girls' room. You guys aren't allowed in there. Okay. Would you help me? We got a problem again. I still can't find a new partner. So you, Selty, or Mr. Selty, would you please help my partner again? I beg you. No way, not again. I didn't realize you were such a cold hearted. Can this help me? No way, not again. I understand. That's too bad. Uh, she's not here yet. Apparently. Maybe someday. But not, not yet. Okay, um... I'm trying to think. Oh, I guess we can go talk to Patty real quick. I'm just trying to get as much of this done before we go do this next thing as I can. Oh, here we go. I'll pay twice. No, three times. It's not the money. My cooking is still not at the level where I can serve it to customers. But the other day you prepared food for Selty. Selty is different. I asked my father to make an exception in Selty's case. Can't you make an exception for me? Why? Hmm, I'm leaving. Oh, okay. I guess he's not going to be a jerk to us now when we come in to eat. Weird. I want to become famous by followers, prime and viewers on multi-mountviewers.com. No, no. Uh, Lady Sentra, are you around? Bot! Bot! Bonk the bots! Okay, hold on. Um, let's see. I can never remember how to do this. Um. Wow, it's using the picture of... I think that's Little Louie, the cartoon from, like, the late 80s? I think it's using the picture of his little brother as its as its avatar. That's so weird. Wait, what? Why is it giving me all of this? I don't need any of this. No. Stop. Uh, am I not signed into my own chat? What? Might be a hacked account? It might be. Uh, what? Why is it not letting me... Uh, what? Either way, try the casino. She did mention being addicted to Hara in Haraka. That's true. Uh, that's weird. Why is it not letting me... Okay. It's showing me the badges for that. Why? Okay, I must have gotten signed out of my own Twitch account... Yeah, hash slash, <laughs> hash check mod check. I do not have a mod here, apparently. Ugh. It's fine. I'll finish this and I'll block them after. I'm not in the mood to do with that right now. Something to eat. Please be seated here. It's much tougher and stronger compared to before you went to the tower. Although from the outside, you haven't changed much. Eats lots today now. Okay, so you make... You also make s spiral rice, right? Remember spiral rice started coming up just a moment? Oh, I guess not. I was thinking any of the things she offered me when she was by herself, she could make for me. <laughs> she added hot dogs cut into the shape of, of octopuses for it. I don't want them. Thank you. Just love to watch you eat, Selty. Munch, munch. That's weird. Don't say that. It's not okay. No, it's a 90G. I'm paying. Thank you very much. Is hot dog even on their menu? I don't think hot dogs are on their menu. Okay. Still don't like this. They're giving us good business. Okay. Um, so we did the food thing. Did the library thing. Oh, yeah. We got to go check the casino. Yeah, she did mention that casinos are cool, so maybe she is in the casino. That's the arcade. That's the casino. Oh, yep, there she is. Yes, yes, come on, come on. Ah, oh, almost lost. Oh, Selty, so fun here. Working for a living just doesn't seem to make sense. Do you have money? Nope, they aren't. You get them special. Golf shouldn't be showing up again. Oh, wow. Okay. 
Why, are you going to lend me some, Salty? Sorry, not, but not for the gamble. Oh, yes, I guess you're right. I might go to the bar tomorrow. Good, did we talk her out of it? We didn't become her weird sugar daddy or something? That's good. Vivian's done. Vivian's done. Food's done. I mean, we can go check on Cheryl, but I think we're maxed out on that until... Okay, we go put Hitch Tip away, and then we'll have the Wind and the Two Blues. Okay, we should be good. Okay. Nope, they aren't. We got them special. Hitch tip away for a minute. It never hurts to check on Cheryl. That's true. We might trigger it, I guess. Um, you wait here, Hitch tip. I'm not going to need you for this next part. Since we can get all the way to, like, floor, what, 18 or whatever it was without him, as long as we have our good sword and shield, we can do this next bit without him and still do a nice run with it. Not tonight, though. We're almost done for the night. I just want to try to get all this checked in on, and then we can call it. And that way I can just go into the, the tower next week. Okay. Oh, thank you. You're always here. To happiness. It's okay. I feel better when you're here. Phew, I'm getting tired. All right. See you later. Again, see you later. Okay. Okay. Checked in. I think that, yeah, I think that'll about cover it. So we can go in, we equip both of these, we throw our two blues onto the mirror shield, and we can do as much fighting as we can, and then we we get out as soon as it gets dangerous so we don't lose anything. I think we're good. I think that about covers it. Oh, whoops. It's like, why isn't it doing anything? There we go. All right. Okay. Um... I keep for That's why it's louder. I forgot. I gotta do that. Hold on. Actually, I'll do that after the, after the stream. That's fine. That's fine. I can wait there. Okay. 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 Um, actually, we'll just close that. Because I don't need it right now. Into that. Okay. Now we do, what did we learn? We've got at least two written down. So we got uh, the the big uh, pit of fruit. Fruit does not add more uh, HP bonus bonus than the regular pit of fruit. Um, the apparently apparently hitch tib hitch. Hitch Tib. I don't know why I'm suddenly having a hard time with that, but Hitch Tib uh, does not eat Olam fruit. That's new to me, but okay. Um, let's see, whatever. They're meaning to ask, what is the hat for? MP not HP. What? Yeah. The big pit of fruit does not add more HP bonus than the, the, the regular pit of fruit. Oh, MP, not HP. Yes, you're correct. My apologies. I forgot pit of fruit is the HP or the MP one, yeah. From hats off to you, Redeem. Yeah, there's a thousand dollar redeem to have me wear a silly hat. Or change hats. If I, I it's not like I have a bajillion hats around. But Lost and Found had some hats that were delivered to me, and then Lady Zentra turned into redeem and I had to put a hat on and then uh Ica did another hat for a tin foil hat but I had aluminum foil. I don't know if you can even get tin anymore. Um okay. Uh no olum fruits. Um what else? The uh The casino might actually ruin the town. Casino might ruin the town. Do to high levels of gambling addiction, addiction, 
amongst among amongst the populace populace and then a thousand expensive no use bits solutions solutions i don't think i have any bit things i don't know if i can do those yet i think you have to be do you have to be partner for bits i'm only an affiliate so but either way i don't have any bits set up at all um but yeah no a thousand solutions to redeem change my hat i have re i have the solutions uh set up now there's several there's various voice clips in there there's um a couple like streamer can't do a thing is one of them victory screech <laughs> Like that. There's some of those in there. Um, and then let's see, what else? Um, oh, and I guess technically something we learned is we can make it past, uh, past, past level, can make it past level 12 with, oh, 13 is fine too, without, um, uh, monster escort we can actually make it pretty far now without any kind of monsters to help us so we got the big pit of fruit does not does not add more mp bonus than the regular pit of fruit uh hitch chip does not eat olam fruit apparently the casino might ruin the town due to the high levels of gambling addiction amongst the populace lots of people in this town are just addicted to gambling and you can i can and Celti can now make it past level 13 without any kind of monster coming with them. Thanks to the sword and shield upgrades. All right, that's done. Scheduling. Um, next Thursday, 4 p.m. here on Twitch, we'll have more of this. Yeah, when you get to the point where you can get past floor 20 without escort, it's a good time to do that every run. I only pull out the monsters on the later floors. Oh, right. Bring them with you, but keep them in there. Keep them in the bag until you need them. Yes. We tried one of those, and that went really well, too. Well, that was the one. That was the one where we got so far, and then we sent, hitched it back to town instead of back into the bag. Because, yeah. Um, but, yeah. Scheduling next week, 4 p.m. here on Twitch. More Azura's Dream. Um, no idea what to expect, but, hey, we're making progress on a bunch of side stories and the main story and everything else. Saturday, um, 3 p.m., we have the Immersive AKA No Face Cam Horror Stream, where we should be able to start OG, Res or, uh, OG Silent Hill. OG Silent Hill, I think, will be working. I hope. I will do my best work. Uh, I'll get Franklin to help me, and we will do our absolute best to get that working for Saturday. If not, I will probably just do more getting over it, because that's existential dread, and uh, mental fatigue is definitely scary. Um, but yes. And then Tuesday, we just finished up um, The Suffering. And I think next time, poison the town well with enough <laughs> frog fruit juice to make everyone a frog. Oh, God. What a, a weird story that would be for the rest of time. The town that was turned into a frog by a mad teenager. Um, but yeah, Tuesday, 4 p.m. here on Twitch, we finish up The Suffering. We are moving on to uh, Jet Force Gemini. Uh, one recom another one recommended by Cardinal of Exodus. Uh, we had issues getting to run originally, but I found out a way to fix it. It is now fixed, and I think it should be working correctly. Um, but yeah, so that'll be Tuesday, 4 o'clock, 4 p.m., Mountain Standard Time, uh, Jet Force Gemini. Um, if you want to get caught up on any of this, uh, there's tons of it over at the YouTube repository, Raven Hillbrook, Inc., Hillbrook is one word, I-N-C. Our links for that are in the chat and on the info page. Uh, everything goes up there with light editing. Oh, my God. Frog parking only. All others will be towed. <laughs> OSR with a beautiful, beautiful joke right at the end. Congratulations, OSR. What a, what a sniper shot of, of, of comedy at the end there. Um, we also have the Discord. Links for that are in chat on the info page. General discussion, recommendations if you want to see me play something specific. Uh, any kind of art you produce, funny animal videos. I think there's a section over there now for um, 
I think it was food. So I'm assuming that's like pictures of the meals you were having, which is fine. They can put that up there too. And then we have the the after hours lewd section for the spicy talk. Um, and then last but not least, we have the Twitter at Hillbrook Inc. Again, Hillbrook is one word, I-N-C. Schedule reminders, updates if there are changes, and notes from management to the board. Thank you all so much for stopping in. Um, we had a pretty pretty full night. Uh, Ica, OSR, Ladies Intro for running HR, though I think she's gone home. I don't see her in chat anymore. Uh, Cardinal of Exodus, uh, uh, was it John Phoenix? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? John Phoenix? Oh, Dust Twilight, thank you for the raid. That was greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Got a little bit of, uh, yeah, John Phoenix. Um, we got a little bit of Minecraft stuff in there, too. Uh, Flappy Penguin for the raid. Advanced Lamp for coming over with that raid. Thank you. Thank you both. Uh, I swear I'm not an elk. Thank you. And I think Hildegeist came in earlier, too. Thank you so much. Oh, ladies, intro, you are here. Okay. We had a bot show up uh, earlier, and, and we, we I, you weren't here, so I, wasn't, I thought maybe you'd gone home, but. What is it? Is the Enderman after all? Yes, yes, she is here. Coming in at the end, the Enderman. Um, I don't know where that's at though. I don't know. I don't remember the bot's name. But we had the bot come in and everything. So it was a full night, I would say. A good six hour stream right here at the end. Um, let's see. Got it, thank you. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you, ladies. Entra. Yeah, for some reason it's not letting me go through the stream OBS to the band people like it usually does, so I probably got logged out of it or something nonsensical whatever um but yeah thank you all so much if you remember if you need a well thought out solution you need a thinking solution raven hillbrook inc thinking solutions i hope to see you all back uh saturday if not that's okay i hope you have a good one in general um and his name is john phoenix <laughs> yeah dun, 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 dun. um but yeah i'm gonna go do some work with social media um, and then I'm going to go home. I hope you all have a good rest of your evening or morning or whatever time it is where you are. Uh, I hope to see you back on Saturday. If not, that's okay. Um, you have a good one in general. Uh, good night, everybody. Bye.